<sighs> all right you all as always come on you know what i always say and i don't say it just to say it i say it because you need to understand it it's important to pray and thank god for the fact on allowing us to be able to play apex legends and stream and have a good time right because it's important to always keep god here present with us it's because the other things that could be happening right now i mean i've i've done the full spectrum of things in the past just so many different careers and just this short life that i've lived i've lived a full life and even such a short life right and to finally get to the point where you know it's been like this for a while but again that's still a blessing that's just such a shame that then when i had first started this and even still for a while when i was you know in the first year ish god was the last thing on my mind it was the last thing on my mind i was just so prideful and so arrogant important to again thank god period all the fun things you do always bring god there right always 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 and also a good morning as well it's exactly 9 a.m i didn't do that on purpose i kind of did kind of sort of but it's exactly 9 a.m we're gonna play some apex ranked an hour of apex legends ranked all mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm. Just straight into it. Just just straight into it. So there's two more hours on this map. What's the other map for ranked for the season? Oh, oh, three? Three maps. Has that ever happened before? Well, I mean, it is a literally 109 days. So it's it's Broken Moon, thank goodness, LB's Moon, and Olympus. All right. Fire, fire. I don't know if I still call Hill Point or Storm Point Hill Point. I don't know, since it's changed. I have to just see how it plays now. I played yesterday, but... Couldn't really tell. I mean, I could, but I couldn't. It was still day zero. If anything, I was just re-getting back used to Apex yesterday. Not, it was not just Apex. Apex ranked. Two different things. Charge rifle. Project Railgun, but the thing is, it's no longer a hit scan. Oh, a Newcastle. Interesting. Ranked. Sure Everybody's trying to see all that right now, though, Newcastle. <laughs> I'm glad we got Newcastle, but, like, uh, you know, that, that, that's it. I'm playing off Newcastle. Oh, wait, never mind. We have her, too. Wow! Went good stack right here. Or it's a good team comp. Now it just depends on how they're actually going to play. That That's the thing here, right? Hopefully this person's been playing this character like a lot. This is this is now day one. The full day one. Alright, what's new POI? Cedo Station? That's new. Or a change or reworked or whatever. That was the old... Uh, oh, shoot. I let my daughter play yesterday, and I changed up some of the controls for her. And the main control is I have invert off. I got to turn inversion on. Oh, my gosh. That would have been a troll. That would have been a nightmare. That would have been... I would have... That would have been squad white just because of me. Oh, and I got I got vibration on, too. Shoot, I turn that off. I haven't even been here. This is the reworked area. Yeah, I don't play video games with vibration. I don't personally. Well, let me rephrase that. I don't play multiplayer FPS games with vibration. And still, I don't even play fighting games. I don't I don't play any multiplayer game with vibration. I don't play any games with vibration. The first knock in the entire in this entire match was a catalyst. She was the one that got knocked. Some fake bootleg catalyst player. I have no idea what's going on here. This looks like it's Oh, I think this vibration I'll do. Ugh. This kinda looks like a mix between uh what's it called turbine and olympus and that one spot on lb's moon i don't remember uh, no don't give me r9 wow this game looks weird it's the fov that's what it is i just got buffed uh, i'm still keep i'm still running this though buffed or not i'm i'm still like you know 30-30 rep rep will for all forever be probably like 
top three favorite LB gun. It's just, yeah. People just don't understand. That was the havoc, 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 havoc. Thank you, whoever that, who's ever dropped that. Oh, actually, nobody dropped it. Nobody picked it up. What's going on here? Is there like a secret button I can push? You know how like some POIs have a button, some some kind of interactable secret thing. Oh, gold stuff spawns up here. Hey, go New Castle. Come, come on, come on, grab that. Wow, this is this might be a fire. What what POI is this? Talon Station? Hold on, I gotta zoom in. What's it say? Oh, the pylon. Hmm, interesting. The pylon. Did he grab that? He didn't grab it yet. Another one? I'm grabbing it. Did he mute my ping? I don't understand. Here. Knock down shield here. Level four. That's why we gotta continue to Competitive to be just playing taller baby stuff right now and to just be nice all my life I'm being nice, but I'm also still like, you know Yeah, this POI is really cool Oh, they got a man. I'm telling you 120 FPS. What's going on? Hey, this will be the only time I ever probably say this ever but I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it though uh, remember, you guys, emo only is off now. You all can talk if y'all want. All right. I understand I've, I've kind of, like, uh, conditioned you all to not speak <laughs> from how I was in the past, right? But, I mean, if y'all want to, it, do you, right? But that's just to let you know, okay? That's just to let you know. This is a new era for LB. But there might come a point where I still do to say, you know what? Yep, sh I'm shutting off it down. I'm, un I'm unplugging everything back to how it used to be. But who knows? In time, maybe, but hopefully not. In fact, I have faith that that won't happen again. Are we just gonna stay here? That's fine with me. Dizzy right here. This is a really okay. Okay, nobody's coming over here, so let me go ahead and get a just like scope this POI out, like for real. I'm sure there's some kind of interactable thing, right? Some button or something. Dude, I have a ton of. I forgot how solid this slowdown is for for Tresha. 30, 30 rep rep because it just doesn't burn through ammo and it's oh that boop me I forgot to boost your teammates but not like crazy though it boops enemies like real hard Yeah, this, this POI looks like a lot of other locations in this game. I got gold knocked down. What was that supposed to do, Race? Come on now. What was that supposed to accomplish? Oh, go back to pubs or something. Okay. Thank you. That what was that port supposed to accomplish? Don't worry about me. All right, team. What do I want to do? Oh, look! There's this. They even have that. They even have a charge tower here. Wow. Is he going for it? Okay, I I, I gotta ask him to it. Oh wait, I wasted that. Her cooldown, it doesn't start cooldown until the ultimate ends. That's that's a new thing now, so I kinda wasted that. Oh well. That was just to get some use out of it and to cover him while he's activating it. But like I said, I forgot about that change. But I do have ult ultimate XL. Oh vantage. I'm not peeking that.
I don't want to peek out too far with that vantage. Oh, I think she's out of shots now. That sounded like six. I don't know. I wasn't counting, but it sounded like that should have been six. Because that's how many she has now, six. Is there a team on us? Did she just sing? Anybody know a shortcut? Or secrets? Is that what she just did? Am I all still up? Come on, close. What gun is that, by the way? Boom, 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 boom. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, that was G7. That was G7. I, f I kind of forgot about that gun, actually. Oh, that almost hit me. That was amped, and that still almost hit me, but didn't. Increase projectile my butt. I'm sure they did, but like, come on, dude. Barely. This is a really strong position to hold. Dude, my all is still up. Is that a bug? Yeah, it's a bug. Her all ain't never been active this long. Oh my gosh. Catalyst is bug. Oh, what? Oh, dude, it's, it's bug. Careful, Newcastle. Don't, don't mess with my Havoc. Don't mess with my Havoc. Not my Havoc. Oh, I, I, I freaking hit Newcastle with it. Nice. No. I got you. Newcastle, you heal. Good fight. Whoops, I didn't even do that. I'll equip again. It's been a minute. I'm a little rusty with my, cool, with my quips. Y'all know I used to be like the world's fastest. Mm. Did he pop his ult? Here, Newcastle. If you don't grab it, I'm going to grab it real quick, though, if you don't use it. Oh, he used it. He used it. He used it. Nice. They have a mo mobile a evac. I think one of them might use it. And there's a conveniently placed gravity, whatever this thing is called, gravity cannon here. Man, I want to hit it. I ain't going to hit it. Y'all already know that. I don't, I, shoot, you ain't got to tell me twice. That's for taller babies in the first place. It was evac in that, in that, in that death box, too. I wanted to restock. Look at the rainbow. That's for her. That's for Disney Princess. What if it's like burn all the trees down? To get rid of all the prowlers? I can't believe it took him this long. Hold on. I'm healing. Healing. Hold on. I'm feeling crafty. I'm feeling crafty. I think Newcastle should be fine over here. Let me check on Disney Princess. Making heavy ammo. That guy's making a crazy amount of heavy. I might, I might grab some of that, that heavy he dropped. I'm gonna grab some of that heavy he dropped. Thanks, Newcastle. Ring close in one minute. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. There you go. I'm topped off now. 120? Yep. I'm gonna play off him though. You don't know the reason why? Here's why. Because 
when he was crafting, he was he was smart enough to realize that he's good to craft even though she's poking. Just trust me, I know that. He he was smart enough to realize that. That's why he stayed there replicating. And he's already gauged the skill level of me and, and our teammate. So he also felt comfortable crafting while we were actively poking. He, In fact, he knew we were poking. We weren't fighting, right? Uh, you know, I, I, I can just gauge his skill is what I'm trying to say. And I can tell what he was doing. It was fighting over here. Yep, right here. And that was Conduit. Couldn't get a, a, a feel on her run animation. I got to look at my teammate Conduits. Amped up, ramped up. Does her passive activate even even with weapon out? Let's get in the ring, Newcastle. Alright, like I said, I'm back on Newcastle. Was he shooting at me? Yeah, that's definitely over here at us. Was that Revenant? One of them was Revenant, the one I went to the left. Make sure nobody's coming up behind. Oh, they cracked him. Not the one on my back. Somebody's on the knees trying to trying to get that banner. Just got that. Oh shoot, bow check. Uh oh. I wish you. I wish if you had a gold. <laughs> I wish if you had a gold. Which McCall? Oh shoot! He has line inside of me. That audio keeps tight. I like that. That's new. I heard that. It's really like. It's easy to miss it. We gotta go. Come on. Ah. Uh. Ah, <sighs> must have my all. Shoot. Dude, this should never take that much. That ultimate. I just got my all too. No. Oh my gosh, dude. Two different teams. No, all stay up. Recharging shield. You don't see me, Mirage. Forty-five seconds. Don't mess with my havoc.
Dude, her thing stays on the field for so long. I'm real low on energy, and I highly doubt he had energy. But it's a little too risky to go for his thing right now. But they might not go for it either. Yeah, that, they ain't even bothered looking over here. Oh, he did have energy! Oh, thanks, Mirage. I saw that person. Her ultimate's really loud. Oh, shoot. Dang it. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. I, uh, once I ran out of ammo and knocked the first person on me, that was pretty much it. I probably should have done something to those two when they were healing. I didn't know if a third was going to come by and whatever. I'm going to invite the Newcastle, though. GG's. I remember, you got to give them a little time just to, you know, they might be taking care of other things. At least... At least 10 more seconds. Remember, that's a part of solo queuing. There you go. Boom. That counts as solo queuing. Remember, if you invite people who you played in a game with, but when you start a new session of Apex, if you invite somebody, even if it was somebody you met while solo queuing, that's not that's no longer solo queuing. This is the part of the process. You know, this is just a part of the lifestyle of solo queuing. This right here. Yeah, I liked that POI. But uh, you already know that's going to be a hot POI over time. I'm surprised. I'm, it probably already is. Just probably not that one specific game. Delicious. Come on, we got work to do, yeah. That's a lot of piercing pike. I have more piercing, piercing spike damage than people have with like legends. Yeah, come on, don't mess with me and my catalyst. Whenever I, this is a part of the solo key process. I've explained this in the past for those who are regulars, right? But in case you know the new heads, or in case you forgot. You are allowed to keep that. Well, I I don't mute the pings of the person that I, I'm in the party with. That I invited. Personally. Hmm. I don't know what this is. Some new spot? Is this even a POI? <laughs> this was the old spot, right? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I recognize what this is. This is, yeah. They didn't, you know what? They didn't really change the map up that much, honestly. I mean, I don't know. Maybe they did. But from, was this the fifth game now from yesterday and today? I mean, much ain't really changed on this map. I mean, well, but there, there's no prowlers, so that's a huge thing, honestly. They could have honestly just got rid of the prowlers, but they did some other things too. So good for them. Remember that one spot, that, that crash ship or whatever? That spot was awful, boring, garbage, terrible. So maybe that, that changed up. In fact, I might want to purposefully drop over there next game if I'm Jump Master, which I highly will. There's a high chance. Y'all know this one. When we play ranked, there's almost a... Um, uh, there's like a 90% 90, 90 chance I'm Jump Master in ranked games because I pick. And in ranked, people know that if you pick, it increases the chance of you being Jump Master. If, you know, there's a specific formula. It's based on... Oh, I see. I already got one. Thanks, though. He already knows. See? He's like, oh, no, that dude can really use a Havoc. Yeah, Havoc is one of those specialty guns. If you find somebody that can use a Havoc, that's somebody to keep keep in your squad. If you can find somebody that knows how to wingman, somebody to keep in your squad. If you find somebody that knows how to... If you find somebody that knows how to Devo, that's somebody you, you 
permanently keep. But somebody that knows how to R3, Volt, and all these other generic guns that everybody else knows how to do, it's just like, you know, wow. I mean, nothing's wrong with that. They're, they're cool guns, whatever, sure, yeah. But, like, honestly, you know what? Here, Lifeline, I got you. I'm, I'm tripping. If she don't take it, then I will, though. Because she even ran into the building, like, right behind me, and then I, like, snatched it up just in case she was going to take it. That's not too toxic, right? She's not taking it. That's why, that's why I figured. This ain't no actual lifeline player. But she has heirloom. Did you want it? Did you just snatch it? This is perfect. Thank you. That's funny. Where you want to go? Y'all want to go this cascade? They don't, you know, they don't, they're down for whatever it, it seems like. So this is one of those games too. And these are the games I like because that, because that means I have team players. Whenever they're down to follow pings, those are, those are team players. I missed Apex rank. Pubs is a utter cringe toddler baby. Ugh. Ready. Huh. We have barrel stabilizer here. Level two. Want some more again? Hammer point. I'm not. Dude, I don't need that. Uh, helmet. I don't know something. I know a lot of people craft backpacks. Honestly, I never really crafted them that often, unless I don't have one, or if I only have a level one. I mean, even still, unless I have like extra. I I, I got one thing. I generally prefer, I prioritize ammo personally. Everybody's different. Everybody plays different, different play styles and everything. But for me personally, ammo and bats. Oh, actually, and, and armor. I don't know. I don't never really prioritize. The, but I know it's, it's I'm not saying that it's, not, it's wrong to do that. I'm not saying that. I have a... That charge rifle I just ran past? Maybe I should run, run it just for one game. New charge rifle. Took some materials. Nah, I already got 330 rep rep law. Thank you. Dallas is feeling crafty. Anybody rolling up on us? It's been like mad quiet. I understand it's ranked, but we're like in Cascade. Oh, I didn't need to drop that. It's really rare when I have to, when I run through all my energy with Havoc, by the way, when I have at least like 120. But that last game, I mean, we were fighting after fight after fight after fight. So, yeah, I did run through my ammo pretty quick. Yeah, let me check out this new layout of this building now. They come up the stairs, but there's just no roof. That's huge. And you can you can jump across on this tarp, and there's a zip line. Sure. All right then. And then there's this up here. You can go from here. Now, obviously, that lifeline care package doesn't be there, but. Give him my shield to recharge. Oh, dude, I don't have optic. That's not good. How did I? How have I not found an optic? I literally haven't found an optic. That's crazy. I pulled this thing out and all I saw was raw 3030 iron sights. These iron sights are atrocious. Dude, 30 rep of iron sights are awful. I can't see anything. Shoot. Oh, I got stuck. No. Ow. Oh. Come on, Finny. Come on. 
Nice, good knock. One more, one more, one more. That was our ultimate. You have to have line. Of, it has to have line of sight on you. Where'd he go? That the same. That's the same squad. That's a lot of hell. Yeah, it has to have line of sight of you, and you have to be inside of it. Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's hell's drone? Those two criteria have to be met first, so that's really good. You can't just be in a bubble, but it, it can't have line of sight of you, and you won't. You know, you'll be fine then. Good. Well balanced. Now, let me grab an optic from this team. Because, like, 30 30 rep up, I need one. Like, come on, dude. It's 30 30 rep up. Even they didn't have one. Oh, they have it one time. So. I get this heavy, too. One minute, I don't know how to use it. Good hit. I can't see anything. All right, what are we going to do? I'll have us one time. Yeah, I, I, I can't peek that one one time. That's pointless. That's way too risky. I'm tripping. Do we have evac? Ooh. Already go rotate out. We gonna have to. Let's go there. Oh, they're not coming. All right, I'm, I, I'm gonna stay here and wait for them. I'm gonna stay and wait for them. I thought they would come. Oh, I thought that was a med kit over there. Check it out. Care package coming in. Hmm. Bad guy over there. All right, then. All right, now he's ready to go. Loud and clear. There we go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There you go, there you go, there you go. He's like, yep. So we're not so we're not just about to get pinched. I'm running out of ideas. I'll let them hit it first off so and see where they're going so I can follow them, protect them. Let's go over there. Target spotted. Come and get your birthday present. Yep. Oh, I can't see. Dude, I mean, I need another, a better optic. Dang. That's crazy. I want this whole game with just this. I thought it was thermite. There's the thermite. I'm gonna go back a little bit just in case. Oh, I thought he was way further ahead. I can't believe I didn't heal. That respawn? I 
I kind of want to go in here, yeah, and see if there's an optic. Yes. Literally, because like I need an optic. Ooh, that almost that almost hit. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, is this person AFK? So that person can get some. Um, but KP's not a thing anymore. Well, no, I don't care about kills anyway. This is perfect. Thank you. Let's go over there. Sure. Good. Oh wait, you want to go up there? Are you sure? Uh, are you sure? That's right here. I need optic <laughs> steel. And this ash ain't gonna drop one that just fell out because you don't get attachments on your weapon. That's obviously a decoy. Oh my goodness, no. Did you get him, lifeline? Get him. On now, say hello. Oh my gosh, dang it, it's stuck still. They ran to a squad. Dude, I wish I had an optic. Uh, if, if we can get to one of these boxes, that's definitely an optic for me. I, mean, I feel like I heard somebody on that left side, though, where I was just at. Oh. Alright, team, how y'all want to play it? Lifeline, you got to use your evac. Lifeline stingy with this evac. Oh. This is exactly what I needed. No, it's just a one time steal. I gotta drop 3030. I have no more. Not enough ammo. Alright, 3030. You ain't gonna get to that. Oh, another, another chance. Oh, three times, yes. Frack. Ah. Oh, jeez. Oh. Ah, oh, it's all good. I couldn't do anything else at that point. I was literally like, they had me checkmate. Check made it. Good game. Let's run it back, Mirage. Be cool. Good game.
really good to, to see some some fire caustic play. I, I hit that zip line. I heard the team was above us. I heard it. And I knew it was a caustic. Because I heard him throwing this trap down when we were underneath him. But I was like, I have to make a play. I have to make a play. And I had a thermite. So I was like, all right, it's, it's this. I want them to focus on this thermite. And I want this thermite to, to like serve as a distraction. Because, you know, when the thermite goes off, it creates a pillar of fire. And it's, it can, like, disorient. Not disorient you. But it's hard to see through a thermite. Is what I'm trying to say. You know, it creates a wall and the fire rises. It, it's, it's hard to see through it. And I was going to try to, like, you know what I mean? I was just hoping that would... Make it hard for them to deal with me. Because if I didn't do that, if I didn't throw that thermite, they would have killed me a long time ago. And thermite's also really loud too. So, it, you know, it kind of like helped conceal me in the water sound-wise as well, you know. But obviously they still knew I was there. But it gave me just some, it bought some time for hopefully more squads to die for, for me to place higher and get more placement points or whatever it's called nowadays. I feel like they changed the name of the currency every single season at this point. Don't grow too attached to what it's called. It ain't gonna be called that next season. They need to just do what Siege is doing and just say ranked is still in beta. <laughs> it's still in beta. Ranked in Apex is still in beta. I think the the system where they had KP was the best system. Placements and KP. Uh, I mean, I, I know why they changed it. I understand why they changed it. But I still think that was the best system. It was the, well, but this is a new system, and I haven't tried this system yet. I mean, obviously, this is my third game, but I'm not playing necessarily to even pay attention to the system now at this point. Honestly, it's kind of crazy. It's actually pretty funny. Twenty HP. That's tight. It was, well, it was almost tight till I saw the X. Then it wasn't tight. That means somebody already has the name 20 HP. You just really wanted the name 20 HP as well, but you have to put X in there. So you're not original. In fact, you, that was a, a deliberate copy. Probably the person probably wanted 20 HP, but saw it was taken. So at that point, instead of coming up with something original, <laughs> they put X. Nothing's wrong with that. But I wouldn't have done that because I would have seen that that's not original because that clearly means it's taken. Alright. Now, this is a new spot uh, or a rework or something. This looks different. Oh wait, this is the I don't know. This is where that crash ship was. Is this? I think so. Oh, I forgot the Mirage was still here. I completely forgot. About it. I saw those those decoys flying from way up ahead. I'm like, dude, what the heck? Yay. And replicator here too. Nice. All right, what's what POI is this? Coastal camp, yeah. So they got rid of the, that trashy ship because that POI was awful. That was terrible. Probably like the worst POI I think in the entire game, in my opinion. In my opinion, just like awful layout, boring. I think so. Uh, I think at, well at, at the time that that was in the game, I think that was the worst POI. That was just horrendous. I can't believe that was a thing. Okay, hold on. What, what am I holding right now? What's going on? Drop this. Drop this. Drop this. Come on, Obi. Get together. Gathering materials. You got that. You got that, Penny. Oh, you didn't want it. Uh, let's see what I want here. Hmm. Heavy. Oh, hey! Third thirty rep rep. Hey, what's going on? Hey, you equip that third thirty. Eva, you go ahead and equip this. Oh my gosh, here we go. <sighs> Gotta do it manually. There you go. 
Oh yeah, that's right. Spitty change, but I probably still won't see. It. Oh, actually, I'll, hopefully we see people that ran R three. Hopefully they like use Spitty. I think that'd be pretty cool. But people still complain. Oh my gosh, like they literally did back then. They never just stop shooting. It's so broken. They just don't stop shooting. It's unlimited bullets. Yeah. Bro, it's like one of the lower DPS in the game. But whatever. Complain, complain, complain. It's always gonna be fun. And I can't talk. I complain about things too. But the things that I complain about are actually justified. Well, to them, they're justified to them. Uh, yeah, technically, you're right. Yeah, it's not wrong. Oh, they didn't. They should have leveled up their evos on the replicator. They only have level one. They should have. I was going to level up to level three, but it's all good. But you see what I mean? That you got to use a replicator. You have to use a replicator. It's right there. I dilly dally. I was looking around for a havoc. Bam. And there's a kickback that's dropping like right there. Guess I'm running out of ideas. But they don't pay me to complain. They they pay me to protect. <laughs> I'm about to go over there, bro. I need a havoc. Every time if you could hop and like just make it all the way in. All this, all this energy, but no heavy weapon or no energy next to these energy mags. Like, oh, there's this. I'm gonna hold this as a placeholder. Now this is already a super jank loadout already, but this is placeholder. I was hoping to be a L star for placeholder, but this is fine. I'll let this slide for now. We still go up here for deeper. I mean, I kind of want to. I just need to have it. Oh, Devo, Devo, Devo is placeholder as well. Chick, chick. All right, now I'm solid. That's lifeline care package. I think it was on this side too. Oh, no, it was on the opposite side. Hmm. Oh, Havoc, yes. That person dropped it. Of course they did. Like I said, nobody runs Havoc late game but LB. And like three other humans. Gold stuff? They already, they already came up here. Yeah, pe people know at this point, I guess. I mean, I said at this point. What the heck? Oh, no, it was Watsy. And she put a, a Ultimate Excel next to it. That's cool. I'm going to leave this for another Watson player. I got tons of energy. That's how you know I like Havoc. I don't need this much energy. I could have still grabbed some of that and fully fully topped off, though. I don't know why I didn't. Cause I already have so much. If I have space for it, just grab it, LB. There, topped off. All right, I'll scan this. Evo shield here. Level two. Whoops. What did you meet my pings? Bang. Oh, she's going for it. Every other gun in the game? Remember that was in the patch notes a while ago? Is that still a thing? I mean, because I haven't seen one. And I kind of do want to test it out. I haven't seen a single one. Game one or this game. I understand it's like only been two games, but yeah, I mean the last game was a full game. We we ran through like we cut through the entire map. Like just cut straight across. One end of the map to the other. No charge rifle. I haven't found one yet. Well, let me keep looking around for one. Cause I really do want to try the buff charge rifle. What is this? I'll hold this this as a placeholder too for when I find charge rifle. Ooh. Barrel stabilizer here. Level three. Round two. Beginning ring countdown. Wait, was that it? Oh no, it's Devo. That bang smoke sounded kind of close, or whatever that was. It sounded like bang smoke. Wait, 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 saw a sniper stock. 
Where was it at? Where was it at? I know I saw one. There it is. It's it's hiding in between that that level one body shield. Where are they poking at? Well, I don't think there's a charge rifle here. New kill leader. Call him if you spot him. What the heck is this? Then the heck? I mean, I understand this pylon. This is like a Watson ta Town takeover, but geez, Louise. <laughs> Look. This is her room. She really likes Nessie. Goodness gracious. Like a lot. I guess as much as I got like Pokemon, so. It's just one thing though. It's one creature. Good job. I'm still like looking for a charge rifle. That's so funny. I don't think I'll reach. Look, that's all. That's her all. You see, it has that line of sight of you. You saw it wasn't hurting me. Just being in a bubble isn't enough. The bubble indicates its range, its radius. Damn, that person went real far from that evac. That was only one. That was just one. That person went crazy far from that evac. They're not coming through. <laughs> Still haven't found a, <laughs> a charge rifle. Crazy. Oh, this is where we came from. Might end up just, just, just dropping the sniper mag. It's too late. <laughs> it's not. I just once I find charge rifle, there's gonna be sniper ammo right there, and I already have uh, the mag for it, and I already have the optic. It's not too late. The heck, this ain't pub, kill grind type stuff. I sense an enemy out there with my eyes. Dang, she's moving fast with that passive. Ah. No, Ash, come on now. Oh. I feel like it's a body shield. No, nah, it wouldn't be body shield because they have no body shield right now. Was that bank smoke behind us or did that person just overshoot it? Ah! I accidentally muted him. I did not mean to do that. Ah, oh, broke my rule. I accidentally muted him. Eyes up. Incoming replicator. Using a Phoenix kit. Enemy bang smoke. Ah. Oh no. You gotta get out of here, Bang. Bang is taking off. Bang and Camarage, though. Down, 
Oh, no way. I don't know, Bane. Crazy. Thanks, Bane. Oh, there's this dumb catalyst. You want me? You want to thirst me? Come on, to come all the way down here. Ah, that's what I thought. Where are we? Yeah, the bank's gone, but that's good. Placement. Placement, placement, placement. Oh, she got the wingman elite. Lice. This is delicious. But I should have got a napkin. Bang is trying not to even move because she don't even want somebody to like just see like a pixel move. Oh, there's still somebody. <laughs> this Bang is a ring player. Obviously, look at the look at the badges. That person wasn't shooting at Bang. Wait, they don't have a seer. Ain't no way as a seer. He's the lowest pick legend in the game currently. That's pretty great. That don't mean he's bad, but I just I don't. It's not likely they have a seer. That was just a stray bullet from some fighting out there. Good. Inside this next ring. Oh shoot. Oh, I made a mess. I made a mess. I do that. That was the R9 reload. I heard a shooting and that was the R9 reload. skin you see it breathing it has no kills but you see it, it breathing right now because it's like alive it's like a dragon snake type i've always liked that or an iron skin Now it's time to heal, but they won't hear that. I 
Oh, Wingman Elite comes with Digi. All right, GG's. Wingman Elite comes with Digi. That's that's good. Oh my gosh, did it do the thing again? It did the thing again. It did the thing again. Whoop, it's gonna be here all night. That's fine. Well, while this is gonna take all of its life, the, this, LB's gonna take a break. Oh, never mind, just end it. LB's gonna take a break though. Oh wait, I forgot I'm, I'm in the I'm in with this person. If this person stays and, and does another game, then I'm gonna stay. If this person leaves, then they'll be taking a break. Let's see. And we're not gonna get this person unlimited time either, okay? Alright, it's currently my time, it's 10 a.m. So we're gonna give this person till 1002 to make a decision. And that's two entire minutes. That's a long time, honestly. Okay. That's way longer than any Apex Legends queue. That's a Rainbow Six Siege queue. In fact, the Siege queue is actually a little bit longer. But for somebody with a short attention span and like, you know, lives on TikTok, you would say, oh well, that's that's awful. Two minutes, a queue time for the game's been let the game's been out for seven plus years. And it's still actually one of the most played games in the world. Multiplayer FPS games, most one of the most multiplayer, most played multiplayer FPS games. In fact, watch this. Just for Xbox alone, let's see where Siege ranks. Just for Xbox alone, watch this. First, second, third, fourth. It's the fourth most played game. In fact, there's more people playing Siege than there are Apex. But always remember, don't live in the bubble. Just because a specific game has more viewers doesn't mean that it has more players viewers does not necessarily indicate more players it's a relevant statistic but it's not a one-to-one -one parallel because you have to look at the, the the demographic right the demographic that watches siege isn't necessarily the same demographic that plays siege whereas apex is kind of a different story the demographic that plays apex is a majority of them are the demographic that also watch Apex. Makes sense, right? It's all about the demographic. You got to understand that, okay? So anyway, though, Siege is the fourth most played game on the Xbox, and Apex is actually fourth, fixed sixth, sixth most played right now with this new season, right? That's what I'm trying to say. So, so the long queue times for Apex are justified because the game is literally a competitive esport, and so is this, but... I'm talking on this is siege we're talking about okay so the game makes sure to find you the most even balanced match possible because in that game the players on there don't care about spmm and skill based matchmaking and and wham 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 those are players who actually want to get good and get better and actually compete okay so yeah so the q time means nothing in, in that sense it's like in fighting games if you play a if you play a fighting game i ain't talking about i'm not talking about i'm not talking about street fighter the new street fighter or uh, street fighter 6 so i'm not talking about what other fighting game has a really fast queue time? I'm not talking about any of the Mortal Kombat games. If you play like a... If you play an anime fighter... I don't, I, listen, 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 listen. For the casual people who don't know anything about FGC, you, you might think I'm talking about like some something weird like Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm or like uh, some other weird anime. That's not what I mean. I shouldn't have even said that That. That, that's the subgenre for that specific genre of fighting game. But a person that doesn't know any better might think I mean just some anime that has a fighting game. That's not what I mean. And An anime fighting game is essentially their 2D fighting games that have air dash. And they have a, a jump, double jump, and sometimes a, a hyper jump. And a short hop a lot of the times as well. Okay? I know that was super confusing, but that's just to explain to you. Okay? Well, we're playing another game because the person didn't leave, but that's fine. But after the person leaves, then I'm going to be taking a break. I got to not beat that person, remember? He moves fast. Oh, boy. Got a kill grinder. Some toddler baby. Hmm. Three, two. Okay. Three. Okay. Three, two. One. Hopefully this yellow team doesn't try to swerve over here. Yeah, I know. 
Oh, he is. Th this team is coming over here. All right, we're going to have to fight them. Just one team. Ah. Come on, Obi. Oh, that was her. That was her tactical. That was the new character's tactical. She gave her her like that that temporary shield. Oh, that was really strong, dude. She gave her that temporary shield. I need that, dude. I, I need that shield swap. Path left. Casting a frag. Get that banner. We need to bring it We can get to the banner. Path can actually grapple to it, but I, I think somebody's gonna gatekeep it for sure. Is this zip new? This is this zip new? Oh, I don't think so actually. Oh, they just respawn. Remember that person gets gun back. <laughs> oh no! How much time is left on this? 13, 20, 20, 16! Go, 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 go! Eight! Ah! <laughs> oh, hasty revive. <laughs> Please, I need something, dude. Body chill. I don't feel like popping this one singular cell. Oh. Really, I can't find one? I had to pop it. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Hey. All right, we'll have to get to him. Oh, well, the revenue, we'll see. I'm playing off the Revenant. Oh, they're, they're here now already. Ah. Oh my goodness. Bro, come on with those taller baby strats. I can't see. Ah! <laughs> they super chased. That was okay. So it's not necessarily because we landed there. We have to fight the team because we have to commit to the fight. Congratulations, that person moved to Silver Four. Or Whatever that is. Silver 4. The main thing is here is they just won that fight. It was a fair it was a fair fight. They just had won the fight. But man, did we struggle. We, we made them fight for it too. So good stuff. Hmm. Look, that skin for Octane even has like shoelaces and stuff on his on his like leg is like that part of it.
I forgot what that's called. Talon Station or something like that. Coastal 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 Station? Something like that. It's a new one. Like I said, good riddance. Look, you can still see some of the ship right there. You see? That ship, that old objective or excuse me, objective. That old POI was awful. Even exact lasted that long. Do I play just one game as a new character? Uh no. Not with this person in my squad. I don't, I don't say that to be mean. I say that because this person's already used to the Catalyst and used to how I'm playing Catalyst. So I'm just not going to, you know what I mean? I'll probably do like one game in like pubs or something. With the just so I can see from my screen. I, I'm curious about a few things. The passive. I'm on, I wanted to know if she has to follow a direct path. To the teammate or something for the the double time to activate i just gotta learn what it's called so i can stop saying double time because it's not double time it's whatever it's called <clears throat> I'm the jump don't worry this isn't the first time i've let a ritual hmm Uh, I think we'll be safe over here. I don't think nobody's coming over here. How did I hear the caustic agree? Oh, a team is coming over here. Well, they're going left a little bit. Let's see if that team swerves off. Yeah, they're going to that POI. They're like, yeah, no, we ain't doing that. Oh, dang it. I was so close. I mean, I'll be a little rusty with Jump Master. But that's still like way like, incredible Jump Mastering skill. Y'all already know this. LB and Rank Jump Master? Come on. Made for it. I wasn't made for, I was made for bigger and better things than just, L, you know, rank, Jump Mastering and Rank. But that's it's the saying of speech. Come on now, be smart. Level one. I'm gonna go to that spinning rotating thing. This is usually good loot in this thing. Looking for loot over there. There's a body show right here. And oh no, that, that's just a Devo. I mean, uh, excuse me, a uh, Nemesis. Ooh. I'll run Elsar Devo. Hmm. I'll run Devo for placeholder for charger or a turbo charger. Just like with the Sentinel, if you come across a, a thermite, just amp it up, dude. Just just amp it up. And then grab that new thermite. Come on, be smart. What's the point of using a a a, a, a what's it called? What's the point of using a a rampage if you're not going to heat it up? That just doesn't make any sense. But people do it all the time. They just run past it. Just run past thermites with a rampage. I don't want to carry one. Just drop one thing, heat it up, and then pick your thing back up. Literally. Come on. Be smart. It's okay, though. It's okay. It's okay. But you can do that. Be resourceful. I understand when you play pubs, loot means literally nothing. But in ranked, it does. All right, building your inventory is actually a thing, and being being smart about who you're building it for. You know, playing based off playing off your legend, but you can still be original and unique. I'm going to shoot this dumb flyer. I pulled Devo out because this has the highest, the fastest projectile speed in the game. Yup, the Devo does. Ah, missed it. Faster than even all the snipers. Well, but the snipers had, oh, never mind. Yep, faster than all the snipers. 
I'm getting this care package. <laughs> I'm getting it, dude. You know, who knows what could be in here. Maybe a Havoc. Level 2 energy, Mac. I just, I did, I did hear somebody in there. Yep. That team's just holding that down. I dare you. Wait, the rampage reload stealthily gets slowed. I. I canceled it pre, like I canceled it when it when it still had zero. They might have stealthily slowed it just slightly. All right, Revenant and that that new girl. No, 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 no! No! Oh, dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Hey, thank you. I appreciate that, Sunshine. Sunshine said, good morning. Just found your stream under the Christian tag. Hope you're having a blessed day. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thanks. Well, hopefully you didn't just join in when you just saw me just go, ah. All right, he's about to probably hop off. He's about to probably hop off. That's probably the invite for you. I'm about to hop off, but, you know. Oh, nope, another invite. I was thinking that was the 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 friend invite or whatever for the, you know I'm about to hop off or whatever. But you know next time you hop on if you want to send me an invite. But no, that was the, yo these are some fire games. I'm sending you a friend friend uh, you know a friend request and let's continue playing fire games, right? But no, hey thanks again though for that sunshine. I appreciate it. Not to sound like a you know typical Twitch sellout, but don't forget to follow up just so you know when I go live, okay? Also, too, if you did just join, once once this guy leaves, LB's going to take a break, right? My break time was actually, dude, I, I appreciate it. Thanks. You said you said I followed you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate it. I need another water bottle. I didn't I didn't prepare. I didn't prep for this many games. In fact, this is the last placement game or provisional game. The last one. I know people don't really like think this is that big of a deal, but I like the background of this of this season for the lobby. I like the background. Okay, I think the the background for the last season where they're like trying to climb up, you know, the shadow farms are trying to climb up a after you. You know, I think it kind of overstayed its welcome. I mean, it looked cool at first, but it's like, man, I mean, and I only played last season for a few days. So I, I can only imagine if I played last season like I did some of the other seasons, I'd be like, dude, you know, y'all been trying to climb up this wall for how many days? I said to my brother, I'm, I said, they put, they must have oiled the floor or something because they can't get up there. They can't get up there. I mean, they still can't get up here. <laughs> so, so you said you didn't like that at all either, but you like this one? Yeah, I like this one a lot. It's really colorful, and I like that. There's literally a, a rainbow in the map. I mean, it, it doesn't get any more colorful than that. There's literally a rainbow. But that's for Disney Princess, because this is the Disney Princess season. Oh, a wraith with that skin and that pose? Huh. That's either like a really casual player or... Oh, wait, I can't meet this person. Hmm. North Pad, okay. 
Lol. That, that, that wasn't hard to decide. Well, at the floor, yeah. <laughs> That's what I think. All right, this is the last provisional game. A hundred and nine. Oh, see, look, look, there's the rainbow. Literally a rainbow. When I saw the trailer and I saw the rainbow, I was like, that, that must be just for the wall. I was like, that, that must just be for the trailer. No, that's literally in game. Ooh. Oh, my bad. I didn't know we were both looting the same building. Excuse me. Oh, somebody over here? Oh, no, no, no. I just heard triple taking the sound. It's super close. That must be a team that landed over there then. Well, shooting at the flyers. At home there. That triple take sound is super duper close. I can still hear it in my head. Boom. 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 Now you know the, the distinct triple take sound. Oh, charge rifle finally. I said I, I said it. Finally, now let's try the charge rifle after. I need that. That I need. Thank you. Let's try the charge rifle after the change they made and see if it's actually. If it doesn't make me sick to my stomach now. Oh, my phone's ringing. Hang on. Close, but Say we only have 30 me. seconds left. No pressure. It's go time. Ready to go. All right, LB returns. Oh, teammates, I'm sorry. I have to answer phone call, real life stuff. Okay, blue. Oh, well, my guy is still here. Okay, my guy is still here. Uh, Sunshine, you said you'll be playing the new season tonight. Oh, for the first time. Nice. Today's actually day one. Yesterday was day zero, so you're fine. Yesterday was day zero. Today's day one. Mm -hmm. I got to put that bad last name back in. So I probably need that. Uh, I'll be so What's the other thing? I oh, I'll pr protect. I'll have to put this for new people. Because of how I play, I play a very specific way. But yeah, that's I'm glad you're gonna be, be playing for the first time. My bad team. Who what the heck death box is this? That must have, I had to have been a flyer. Dang it. He pinged it back there somewhere. My bad team, I had to answer the phone call. Oh well. That Lobo's just fighting prowlers. And that put that, that put us behind, but that's fine. That is okay. No problemo. Now, do we do we clean up all this mess from the prowlers and just vacuum up the loot from the prowlers? Not gonna do that, do she? Hmm. <laughs> I really don't want to run a flatty. I'm going to just be honest. I'm going to run ulti for now. I'm sure there was a Havoc there, too. Yeah, sure. Hmm. Yeah, I'm behind. Okay, I don't have a backpack. I'm not having a Havoc. I don't have attachments on my ulti. What do I have for? Okay, I have a three a three times on this. Look at the IM. Look at the armory. They destroyed it. I remember the, the Lord, they said that they came through and they left and everything. But 3030 rep rep right there. R9. Hold this. Hmm. Hmm. Do we hold this nemesis as a placeholder? Thanks. Triple take. Oh, that's a lot of. Oh, Devo. Yeah, we'll hold Devo as placeholder. Whoops. They mean do all that. Guess she's fighting more prowlers. Alright. Oh, that was a flyer. Well, well, I'm gonna shoot this flyer because I literally need stuff. And, whoops. Remember, that's the tip. 
to make a flyer drop something, just shoot it one time, wait like three seconds, and then just shoot it again. Then then it'll it'll drop it'll drop its thing that it's holding. If nobody knew that. Extended light mag extended heavy magazine here. Level two. One of them needed the the heavy mag. That was a good flyer. That flyer has some good stuff. Oh, havoc! Where? I'm so behind. Uh, Sunshine, you said, what are my two favorite guns? My two favorite guns. Hmm. Well, I'm a shotgun monster, but I'm on, I'm on like, you know, I'm, I'm retired from shotguns for a while. I'll show you why after this game, right? But, uh, my favorite gun in the game though is Havoc. And my second favorite gun is the Mastiff. But like I said, I'm retired, I'm retired, I'm retired. But I also like the 3030 Rep Rep. So my, my loadout for Catalyst is 3030 Rep Rep and Havoc. But I wanted to just try the, and then she literally puts this down right here to make it really convenient. But I wanted to, to try the new buff to the, I need a backpack first of all. Go back back over here. Dang it. I wanted to try the new buff to the charge rifle. If you didn't know the charge rifle got buffed, it, what did I do to it? It has, it, the bullet fires faster, which is good because it felt awkward. And there's one more thing. They increased the size of the projectile. Because last season, it must have literally been a literal pixel that you were firing. So, because it just felt inconsistent. The gun just felt so inconsistent. I always make black markets, just so you don't give some other team some advantage. Remember, in ranked, you get more points based on your placement. So, you don't want other teams to, to restock on heals and stuff, you know, unnecessarily. I understand when she puts a new black market down and breaks the prior one, but it's like, uh, you're on cooldown. You don't know when you're... Put the new black market down, or you'll know if you'll die. There's a team right here. I'm so underkitted right now. Goodness gracious, alive. I'm, I feel like a peasant, and my teammates are just like balling with their body shields. So I'm just still at level one. Are they on roof? Hmm. Chum in there. Oh, I heard zip. Good stuff, Octane. Oh, he's up top. That was a Devo. With a turbocharger. He has turbocharger. He's holding my turbocharger. That's mine. Oh, no, 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 no. Cool down. Oh, the person hop all the way down? Shoot. Nope. Octane. Hang on, I can't fight a, a, a fully kitted Devo with level one currently. I'll pop this Feeny for now. I have no more bats. I thought Loba got knocked, didn't she? Octane picked her up. I must be tripping. I understand there's a respawn here too. It's Devo, it's Devo. We all know how Devo recall go. That, that's not even so. Nice, good stuff, Lobo. Thank you. Good, thank you, thank you, thank you. And remember, remember, remember. It's, it might actually be relevant to. I'll let her, I'll let her, her do that. I ain't gonna be able to live. Uh oh. But it's relevant to still get the revive off of the Octane because you spawn with your weapons and. Ah! 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 <laughs> Dang. I right, well I'm gonna start I'm gonna start going though. I forgot you gotta go this way. I'm so rusty. No, I'm gonna go this way. <sighs> I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna probably die to the ring. Hopefully they have a thing, because remember I gotta protect my teammates. I can't just abandon them. Right now we're 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 all doing not so good right now, okay? <laughs> Literally. Alright. Do I have another medi? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I could have literally crafted one. Going for the trident? Is it still over here? Hey, this trident was deliberately parked. 
I'll be able to drop. I got y'all. I got y'all. I got y'all. Go, 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 go. Yeah, we'll make it. We'll make it. Ah, it hurts. Ah, the pole. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Dude, it, I mean, the boost, I've always thought the boost recharges pretty slow, but it's like times like now I really realize how slow the boost recharges. I mean, that thing recharges slow. I'm, I'm rotating us over here. There we go. Good stuff, good stuff. Fire rotation. That's racist. I was trying to get up there. Yeah, I know I need that. Like, I, oh, I do have a level two backpack. Well, we made it. You see? We made it. Oh, thank you, Loba. That's so clutch. All right, hang on one second. I need Havoc. Where's my Havoc? Thank you. Turbocharger here? If there's not one, that's fine. Hmm. Hyper stock here. I'll take a feed. All right, there we go. We're good now. We're good now. Sunshine, you said. Uh... Oh yeah, you remember that for the flyers? Yeah, it's really convenient. Did they, are you looking? Do I want to do something? Yo, thank you. See, this is the reason why it, it pays to be a team player. I, l listen, I've said this in the past, but I'll I'll say it again. So in this game, there's an invisible meter, and it's called team morale meter. You see your health bar and your shield, right? There's another one that's underneath that. It's called team morale. So whenever you're a team player, it incentivizes your team to want to be team players. You know what I mean? I knew they were fighting, but I, was, I, wasn't hoping, I was hoping that that wouldn't have happened, though. Third party. Oh, that was close. That frag almost got my door. All right, we got to rotate out. <laughs> nice. Go now. <laughs> We gotta go over him. Oh shoot, I went this way. Well, I'm split up. Oh, I, I saw the left direction. That's why I should have. That that was on me. That was on me. I should have let them go first. Cause I'm supposed to protect them. I can protect them if you go first. Either way though. A little rust though. Uh, Sunshine, you said recently got comfortable with shotguns, especially the Mastiff. Yes, good. I, I, don't worry, I'll show you after this game, so you see. And Sunshine, you said, I don't want to give anyone an advantage. Oh, yeah, the part of cool. Sunshine, you said, I, I can't stand when I come across people that are rude and not a team player. I started a game the other day, and my two teammates got down immediately. I solo eliminated the team that attacked them, but your two teammates left. Were you playing pubs? Or were you playing rank? If you were playing pubs, there's your problem. Were you playing pubs? And if you were, just 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 hear me out. And if you say you don't play ranked, now just hear me out. Don't play ranked for your rank, okay? Play ranked because Apex Legends plays. I mean, the game was built around ranked, okay? What I mean by that is the game has mobile respawn beacons, the game has respawn stations, and all that. The game has replicators. The game has abilities. The game has strategies. The game has all this stuff, right? But in pubs. That stuff is completely, utterly irrelevant because of the way that people play it. Because there's nothing on the line for them. You understand? But when you play ranked, when there's something on the line, and if they lose, they have something to... Oh, I was going to show you the reason why I'm, uh, you know, shotgun god. Okay. So, I haven't played Maggie pretty much since, like, three seasons ago. But I, I main Maggie when she first came out and everything. And I was a way different person then than I am now. Am I on queue? Let me queue up. Uh, I'm a way person, different person now than I was then, both in regards to my train of thought and an apex. Right. But then, when she came out, I was a kill grinder during those days. I, I was. And nothing's wrong with being a kill grinder. right? But this is me saying that, so, you know, kind of puts a bad taste in my mouth. But nothing's wrong with that. right? Anyway. Oh, the person left? The person left. I know that because of the sound. That per that's why that person sent the, uh, the friend request that last game, too. But they really probably wanted just one more game. But anyway, though, 
when Maggie came out, I actually kill grinded on Maggie. And I deliberately wanted to try to get the, because there's a stat or a website you could track stats. I wanted to try to get the most shotgun kills with Maggie. And during that time, I became, a, I mean, I, wow. I became so incredibly good with shotguns. Still to this day, that's why I said I'm retired, right? But still to this day, I definitely think I, like, me with a shotgun is just a different game. It's a different game. But I, this is, you know, I haven't played Maggie in seasons, but this is 1,088 shotgun kills with Maggie. Just, and I only ran shotguns, and I only ran double shotguns, and I only, you know, played rank. And even still, during those days, I brought Maggie to, like, uh, Diamond 3 or something. And I, still, during those days, too, I only protected randoms and only solo key, right, with just dual shotting. And it's definitely viable. You can't use shotguns the way other people use them. You can't play this game the same way other people do. If you do, then you're only going to go as far as other people because you're doing the same thing as other people, right? But you got to do your own thing. Just like in the fighting game, right? If you play the same way as everybody else, you are everybody's going to know how to fight against you because they already fight somebody else. They see it all the time. But when you fight in a different way, right, then it catches them off guard, right? But either way, though, yeah, shotguns are fire. But I'm on, I'm on a crazy cooldown on shotguns currently. Even though this is the best they've ever been, actually. Excluding the PK at launch. That one is just a whole nother story. Uh, but yeah, so Sunshine, you said regular. Hopefully you understand, though, about what I'm trying to say with ranked. This this mode, pups, that's not Apex. I know it says play Apex. I wish they didn't say that. And I know this says ranked. I wish they just called it something different. Because the fact that it's called ranked, it, it can intimidate people. It don't even just say ranked. It says ranked and it says leagues. Those are two huge, like, that, that can be overwhelming for, like, you know, somebody that that's, doesn't want to do all of that. But I'm telling you, the game plays infinitely better. Your team doesn't leave. You're, they're not, right? Your team's going to be a team. Your team will play as a team. The higher you climb, the more, you know, team players you're going to have. Just period. Period. Look at it like this. Imagine, imagine sports and school. You have, you know, the normal teams and you have varsity. Many people think varsity players are better because of their skill, but that's not necessarily true. Varsity players are also better because of their ethic and their, their, the way that, that they perceive things. They understand the importance of, of being a team player and, and, you know, putting, giving your all but I know that sounds like, oh, that sounds sweaty and, and hardcore. No, that's not what I mean when I say you're all. What that means is actually playing to win. What's the objective in pubs? Some could say the objective in pubs is to kill. More would say it's to kill people and less would say it's to win. That's not a, right, a wrong thing. And now, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying nothing's wrong with that. Right. But I like the object. I like ranked because everybody has the same objective. OK, uh, including on my team, I, I don't have to ask myself, OK, is look, uh, I, OK, if I'm playing pubs and I have a wraith where she at, and I have a wraith and her trackers are kills and damage done and like maybe wins or something. But no, kill, you know, something like that. Right. Then I already know if I'm playing pubs that this wraith is going to be. I already know what she's what she's trying to accomplish. Nothing's wrong with that. Right. But if I'm playing ranked. I don't have to ask myself that question. Now, maybe the person still is a really aggressive player, but at, in the long term, their objective is to win the game, right? So they're going to play to win the game. They're not going to play to just get kills and stuff like that. That's why I play ranked. And it's a, I promise you, it's a different game. Their abilities mean something. These, these perks, the class perks, they mean something. And pubs, nobody's, nobody's picking support so they can re, you know, grab banner and bring you back. No, but in ranked, even like super aggressive players consciously consider, hmm, should I bring a support because we don't have a support because, you know, I want to, you know, that's important and I want my rank, especially now with how strong respawns are. That's what I'm trying to say, right? Scanning for the next ring is utterly pointless in pubs. It means nothing. And ranked, that's huge. I can keep going. But I think you understand the point I'm making here. It's just, it's a different demographic. It's a different type of player. The, the same per person that plays pubs doesn't play ranked. Some do. But in ranked, you generally will find people who only play ranked.
Whereas in pubs, you'll find a mix. Or you'll find also a lot of these types of people in pubs. People like you, Sunshine. People who don't know that deep down they're actually a ranked player. They just haven't, you know, you just haven't stepped out yet. You don't know all that's out there because you haven't stepped out. You only know from what the community has, how the community perceives rank. They perceive it as this hardcore thing. And if you're not this rank, then you're not good. No, 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 no. If you want to get better in the game, play ranked. If you want that to actually play Apex, play ranked. If you want to not get tilted and rage all the time, play play ranked. If you want to still enjoy the game, play ranked. Just don't call it ranked and just call it matchmaking that has a, a symbol that changes over time. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I promise you, you're going to enjoy the game infinitely, infinitely more. Sunshine, you said, um, oh, that kill count is crazy with my Mago. <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate it. And that was a long time ago, too. And uh, sometimes you said you understand. Good. Sick race skin. Oh, this race skin? Oh, thanks. And you prefer ranked. Oh, so you do play ranked. Good. Uh, but for anybody else, though, for anybody else, and then sometimes you said solid information. Good. And then also, yeah, I feel that way sometimes. I'm not the best player, so I feel out of place in ranked sometimes. There's a place for everybody in ranked. Everybody and every character. Everybody and every... Look what it says. Well, I have it right here, but I used to put it in the title no longer. But I, I, the title used to always be when I would put, when I would stream Siege is, uh, what, what do I call it? LB, the solo cure that protects randoms. And that's it. Because that's my, like, for, literally, that's the sole objective I have when I play rank. I don't play rank to increase my rank. That is just going to inevitably happen over time, right? I play rank to protect my teammates and ranked. Not in pubs, because that's a that's a that's a nightmare. But in ranked, right? Oh, nothing too in ranked. Every game is dramatically different than the last game in the ranked. Pubs, it all plays the same, personally. And that's that's there's no variety there. The only way to get better in things is to experience things. But in pubs, you just have the same experiences. But in ranked, you you have endless experiences. Another thing too, when you protect your randoms, you experience things you would have never experienced if you were trying to play to actually win. I'm playing to win. But I'm playing to support my team. Therefore, my teammates are playing to win, and I'm playing to support them. Therefore, we're going to climb. This is the reason why when I play rank, I inevitably climb. I'm telling you, it's there's so many things, right? But I have to take a break. Sunshine, you said we need more people like you. Oh, thanks. I appreciate it. They need to add a limited time mode where it's just like VIP hot or VIP protection or something like that. So people could understand how fire it actually is. In fact, I should be playing this character based on how I play. That's the reason why I played a lot of Newcastle back in the day. I just got tired of hearing him say 100% all the time. 100%, right? And as you said, since, you know, you came in here because of the specific tag, the only thing that's 100% is the Bible, God's word. So I can't stand when somebody says, uh, let's go over here. 100%. You know, it's just like, I know it's a little thing, but this is what we were talking about. It's always the little things for me, okay? But I should be playing Disney Princess because of my play style. But this is LB. She's new, so her pick rate's going to be really high. <laughs> and that's enough to, to, to make me flee away. <laughs> it's just how I am. You know this, right? He said amen. Good. Uh, Sunshine, you said, I need help in ranked. I need someone to protect me. <laughs> oh, no. She definitely is Disney Princess. Definitely. Definitely. Should have seen the stream yesterday. But you can always catch the vibe. But yeah, this is literally Disney Princess. And I also showed I showed my wife and I showed our oldest daughter yesterday. Literally Disney Princess. I even said, I even said, I was like, this is definitely somebody. Look, there was a specific thing that I saw. Where was it at? It was one of the poses. It was just like, oh, that's definitely the epitome of Disney Princess. It was one of these. But I showed I showed our daughter and she's like, yeah, I like that character a lot. I even said that she would. Like all of these just scream Disney Princess. But that's fine. The character it hasn't been annoying yet. Unlike this character. <laughs> what are the actual annoying characters I can't stomach? Or, or I can't stand hearing on my team. It's pretty much just Vantage. That's actually it. But the characters that I will never play based on just how they talk. Hmm. I tried Ballistic, but Ballistic just does this whole BDSM uh, 
dominate dominator dominatrix type stuff and it's just like i, I don't know you know it just makes me it doesn't, doesn't make me feel comfortable <laughs> but he is john wick though Pass personally not for lb because i you know i'm grappling friends I'm, I'm going over here you know it's just not for lb uh oh i used to be valk but i, I remember well i know you're new but for anybody else though right i have said that if catalyst is taken then i'll, I'll be playing valk as a secondary for this season but that's for data purposes to test something very specific, right? And that's pretty much it. Oh, Bloodhound. I've never really Bloodhound's a cool character lore wise and everything, but I don't know. So Bloodhound has always just felt a little too vanilla to me, personally. Same thing for Gibby. Uh, I like Gibby's kid a lot, but I just can't get behind the whole. I don't know. Caustic just coughs way too much. <laughs> Caustic just coughs too much. You irrelevant bacterium. <coughs> I'm not trying to hear him coughing in my ear all my life. All right. So those are the main characters, honestly. Oh, I, I know you say you like Octane. Octane. I, I, I can't. I just don't like the, the culture tied to Octane. So I don't want my teammates to... Ex the moment I pick Octane... My teammates will immediately expect a specific thing from me. And I don't like that, right? So, that ain't for me. I don't need the unnecessary pressure. <laughs> Not for me. Wait, yeah, he costs way, way too much. Sunshine, you said you love playing as Vantage, but she does talk way too much. Yeah. Uh-oh. Hey, careful watching the LB stream. I like talking a lot, too. The thing with me with Vantage isn't the fact that she talks a lot. It's her personality. It's her, her personality is a lack of a personality. That's her personality. Nothing's wrong with that, but it just ain't for me. And she says some gross things sometimes. <laughs> Did I just swallow a bug? Hmm. Tastes like uh, green beans or something. You know, like Vantage. Come on, dude. Like, I'm not trying to hear that right now. You know. Yeah. But thanks to the new bio, it did make me. It, you know, I softened up on Vantage a little bit. The bot, the bio helped. You know, fill out the character because it just felt like she was just a, a character with no stuffing. You know. She felt very filler, but the bile helps stuff her up a little bit with some substance, and that's good. Hey, I gotta take a break. <laughs> Sunshine, you said, uh, you said you talk a lot too, but her voice just gets yeah, your voice, her voice gets on your nerves. You said the line about the bug makes yeah makes you gag, same. But those are the main legends that I can't stomach, and obviously the ones that I are literally like Catalyst. That's LB. That's me. That's my personality. And Loba is my sister's personality. And obviously Maggie is like the alternate side of LB as well. You know, th that's what I mean. Like Maggie and Catalyst, alter ego. That's the word. Catalyst, Tresha is like an alter ego of LB. If I were in Apex, you know, me and, me and Catalyst wouldn't be too far apart in regards to like how I would act in the games. You know, she minds her own business, does her own things, but she's very her, herself. She's very unique. Does her own thing, regardless of what anybody has to say. Period. Point blank. Don't care. That's why I can't wait to see her lore get fleshed out more and more and more. Because it's my favorite character in the game. Remember, this this character got me back into the game. Remember, when she came out, I had stopped playing the game for like two seasons. Then she came out. I was like, oh, nope, this is my character. And then Maggie. Maggie's a politician. Remember me, I'll never forget that. Maggie's a politician as well. Maggie's so fire, dude. Maggie is so intelligent. People don't understand. They don't understand that. She is so intelligent. Maggie's the epitome of don't judge a book by its covers. Like I said, the other other side of alter ego for LB and Apex Legends, right? Lifeline's my cousin, AJ Shea. Uh, that's about it. The ones that I, you know, LB will always forever play. And never forget, last thing before I take a break. LB used to be a bang main from season 0 to season 9 when Maggie came out. But those, like I said, those were way older LB. God was the last thing on my mind. That's That's how long ago that was. I was literally just living in a secular and I just killed grinded and I didn't even kill grind. I just played pubs and just killed people and just fragged out of my mind <laughs> back then I know I say this story all the time but it's just crazy to think about back then when I played bang it, it's 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 as generic as like me sitting down and like putting on my headphones I'm turning on some like I'm just be hopping going crazy with with shotties and then Maggie came out. That's the reason why I like shotguns as well, too, because I played Bang and stuff and how, how I played the game. 
But then Maggie came out, a character whose passive is literally built around shotguns, and it was just like, oh, GG's. <laughs> literally. Literally. But then Catalyst came out. And that's where we're still at present day. But this character is here. Let's give it time. There's 108 more days left of this long season. So currently, her pick rate, without a doubt, is going to be high because she's new. Nothing's wrong with that. Let's play with the new toy. Nothing's wrong with that. But will her pick rate last? What I mean is, will she stay having a high pick rate by the mid-season or end of the season? I wonder. I think people don't understand how much of a team player her kit is built off of. Her her, her kit literally is ba built off of helping her team. And I think some people are blinded by the fact that she's new shiny toy, but haven't really quite grasped the fact that she's not like frag character. Oh, I'm sure you can do some things. That's why I probably have to play one game. Let me just play one game as a character. Just one. Then I'm taking a break. Goodness gracious. Okay? Okay. I didn't want to, though. But just one. I just have to see. It's important to at least get it from this perspective as well. And then that's when I can, you know, judge the character from the outside looking in again. How the character plays out when I'm not playing the character. Because I already know that's not the reason why I don't want to play the character. If I played the character, I would instantly go into the lab and start labbing and saying things out with the character. And I don't want to do that. <laughs> not with this character. OG Lucky Life. Hey, did I have the person on my team already this session? I feel like I did. I think I did. Oh, never mind. We got that person. Go ahead. Go ahead. You can pick the person. Go ahead. Go ahead. Pick, 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 pick. Oh, that was a waste. I shouldn't have played this game then. <laughs> I literally queued just to play the game or just to play the character. Sunshine, you said, I got really comfortable playing with Revenant this season to unlock him. Whoa! I missed that skin. That's a fire skin. This last season to unlock him. Yes, I could have used Apex coins to unlock him, but I wanted to see if I could actually get 80k damage with him to unlock him. Oh, that was a part of the, the challenge? 80k damage? Okay. And Sunshine, you said, I was surprised how much you liked using him. Hmm. Yeah, real strong. He's real strong. <laughs> Revan is real strong. But if you like him, go for it. There's a lot of things that that you should, especially if you're like limited on whatever. Oh, I'm not John Master. Uh oh, especially if you're limited on the currency that that you have to unlock a legend or whatever. Then that's when it becomes even more important on who do I unlock. All right. There's a lot of different guidelines I've always used in my life to determine stuff like that. But I can't explain it right now because we're dropping over here. Well, I'm landing on this side. Oh, there's two teams coming over here. I, I wasn't Jump Master. Y'all know, when I'm Jump Master, stuff like this don't happen. Oh, boy. Pick it up. Oh, I need a gun still. Oh. All right, our door now, then. You want to close the door? It's our door. Oh, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, before I get to this door, too. Alright, there's two teams here, and no squads have died yet. So, whatever squad dies here will be the first squad to die in this whole entire lobby. Literally. And it cannot be us, because I'm a part of this team. <laughs> I need this car. Sorry. You heard her? You see, she's Disney Princess. There's a backpack. Oh, yes. Man, that's that's just so many actions that that thing has to go through to put that thing in there. I hear, I think I think they're up top. Nice. Oh, nope, 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 I see you. He just grappled me. Get out of here. He grappled me. He panicked. That's what happened. Nice try, Pathy. <laughs> that could be dropped, and he had something spinning around him. It looked like a Revenant alt, but I didn't know what was going on. I don't know if that was a new character's thing. Maybe that was a new character's tactical that was around him. I still don't know how much shield it actually gives you. 
Wait, no, no, no. It, do it doesn't overheal your shield. If you have max... Sh oh, that's what it does. Yeah. If you have... Okay, so for example, I have a level 3 shield. I won't... I don't think I'll get more shield than a level 3. It just will heal what you don't have, but only a specific amount. I have no idea. You know, she's, she's new. I have no clue. Sunshine, you said... Uh, yes, it first showed 40k damage. Then when you got to that, it unlocked phase 2 for 80k. Did it, did it mess up or something? You said 40k and I thought of Warhammer. I don't know anything about Warhammer. I just want to make that known, but that's what I thought of. Perfect. Thank you. But I, I wish I did. My little brother, he's huge into Warhammer. He's, he's huge into it. It's just, it's so intimidating to me because there's just so much lore to it. It's literally an entire universe. And that's a, that's, and if I got into it when I was younger, yeah. But I feel like, you know, too much time has passed. I would have to remove something that I spend that much time in. That's like a, a like fictional world, like Final Fantasy or Fire Emblem or something like that. And those are not going anywhere. So, yeah. Sorry, Warhammer. Whoa, I haven't been in this spot of this place. This POI is so interesting. I, I can grab this too. Oh, Digi. Here. Might pick this up already. That looked like it was spawned, but somebody already picked this up. There's a skin on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, here I go. This POI is so weird. Well, it's just weird because it's new. Another zip? Oh, that's somebody else's. Oh, that broke. Oh, dang it, they... Oh, no. Oh, well. Times like this are scary to me because I, I I worry that my teammates like are just going to just instantly laser down out there to help them. But if I were the character, the new character, I would be able to catch them faster because of her passive. She can run faster towards her teammates. They literally made the character for me. I get it. I get it. I get it. They made a character for me. I'm sorry. Her name. Her name is not Catalyst. Lol. If somebody goes through there, I'll get hit markers and then I'll know. Mm. That's our ultimate. That thing stays active for so long. Ow. I could have just, just climbed over, but I wanted to get rid of it. Are they just sitting in there? Oh. Yes, they are. Hey, go just back. And again, part of playing and protecting your teammate means even if your team puts themselves in a, a weird, crazy, just obviously, clearly not smart position, it don't matter. You got to protect them. Because even if your team does that, I'm telling you, I, we have come through so many fights where we just clearly should have just clearly died. Because this is just like, like a horrible play. But since I committed with them, right, it makes them impossible possible. Oh, shoot. I know this person was so close. I was dealing with that person back there. I know that person was right there. Nice. Good stuff. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? You see what I mean? Good stuff. Good fight. We just barely came out on top on that fight. That's what I mean. Oh, another team. Oh, Ballistic ult. That's the other 3.0 legend right there. This person won't see me. They run up top. Oh yeah, my team won't be able to come back to me. They're heading out. That's fine. This that's a part of rank two. It's part of rank two. Sometimes you gotta cut your losses. But well, but I don't do that anymore though nowadays. That's since I'm protected. Uh, Sunshine, you said no. They trick people into thinking. Oh, okay. So something was messed up. But you're saying they. Oh, here we go. Hey, your bullet hit the wall. It went through the, one of those circles in the wall. So you said, no, they tricked people into thinking we could unlock Rev after 40k damage. Once it got to 40, it unlocked a new challenge for 80. That's funny. <laughs> it's like, oh, you thought you unlocked them. Dang, she's literally 1 HP. I had a person, I had a bang on my team the other game. It was like literally, like her name was like 5 HP or something like that. That's what the bang just was. It unlocked a new challenge. Good stuff. All right. Hey, I got to take a break. All right. And, but when I return, we're going to be playing Borderlands. 
and I'll be have some things to talk about. Okay. And I know usually I'll be with end stream, but guess what? We're doing things a little different now. Boom. You see this? It's a schedule. I know. Legend had asked the other day, ALB, do you have a schedule? Because I used to. But I was like, no, I don't have a schedule. So I spent time thinking about it, talking to my woman about it, and praying about it. And I just felt it in me to, you know what? I need to go ahead and create a schedule. So that's what we're actually doing. I know. LB on a schedule crazy, right? Hey, but this is the reason why it's important to not live in the present. You never know what tomorrow can bring. It's a brand new day, okay? I, trust me, I'm still learning that too. Y'all know me. I'm, I'm constantly, you know, I'm constantly thinking about the future and things I can accomplish and things and new things to create and innovating and things. But one thing I'm constantly learning and being humbled on is I'm supposed to leave all that stuff to God, not me, because it's not guaranteed. Tomorrow, tomorrow's not guaranteed. Always remember that. So literally just let God take it. I know it's, it even sounds crazy if you don't even understand, but and I'm still trying to understand. But it does feel good to just submit. I'll just say that. It does feel good to not have to always just, okay, what about this? If this doesn't work, I do this. That's how that's how I literally would have to always be back in the day. Okay, this, this, this. I'm telling you, just look, look. And there's way more than just what's here. I'm talking like blueprinting and everything. LB's tactician, come on now. But it does feel good to just leave things to God. It really does. Because that's unnecessary worry for no reason, especially, too, if I'm not guaranteed for that thing to happen. The whole time, back in the day, I'm over here just planning all these things out. And never know, God's probably just laughing like, you you have no idea. All that all that time you're spending planning out, it's not even going to come. Because that's not what I have for you. Crazy, right? So, anyway, Sunshine, you said, tomorrow is not guaranteed. I trust he is con control. Good, yes. It's very good. Now, LB is going to take a break, okay? And listen, I understand I have the most, uh, what's the word, disciplined <laughs> audience on Twitch, I feel like, honestly. But listen, you all, I'm, this is going to be a longer break. This is going to be a 35-minute break. Okay, so it's okay. Elby's going to step away. You can take care of other things, right? But just be careful what you consume because, remember, your eyes are a gateway into your actions. What you watch, you'll inevitably end up swaying in that direction, too. So just be aware. Don't. Let your eyes just see just anything. All right. Just be aware. Sunshine, you said, I'm going to take a break. I'll read this. Sunshine, you said, a preacher once said, write your plans in pencil and give God the eraser. Ooh, I like that. That's actually incredible. Yeah. Let him do the correcting that needs to be made. Don't be upset if he erases everything. Because I'm telling you, I've had so many. I'm. Phew, wow. We'd be here forever just me going over all this stuff and explaining it just for how it's happened in my own life. So many things. One of the things I wrote up on here was actually that I wrote down was it was crazy because, you know, LB has kids and it's just crazy when I look at them. For example, yesterday was Halloween and I took the girls Halloween uh, trick or treating. All right. But when I was taking them trick or treating in this neighborhood, and there's a lot of kids in this neighborhood, but a lot of the houses, in fact, the majority of the houses, they didn't have any candy out. They didn't have any display or anything. Nothing's wrong with that because I don't decorate or I don't do any of that stuff, right? But my wife does, obviously, and our girls do. But what I was saying, though, is when I was a kid, even though I didn't care about that stuff, I still did trick-or-treating for candy because, I'm, you know, at least for candy. And it was fun because I got candy as a kid. But it's interesting to see now I, don't, I know this that's just this specific area but this is a pretty common normal area that i live in it's just interesting to think about and the only reason we did trick or treat this was the first time ever they usually do trunk or treats and things like that but our oldest she literally said daddy i want to do trick or treating going house to house it's just interesting so i wonder what the people who would set candy out and things like that back in the day, what they were doing on Halloween instead of doing that. that that's what I'm trying to say. I wonder because one half of it is, you know, setting the candy out and things like that. That's like, that's a good thing. Cause you, you know, you see people and you give them the candy and it's like, it makes you feel good. But I'm not saying if they weren't doing that, they were doing something awful or evil. That's not what I'm saying, but it's, it's one of those things where it's like, Have you all seen Lord of the Rings? This is a great example. 
And if you haven't, don't worry. I'm not even going to really spoil anything. I mean, this is a huge spoiler, but it's not. So I'll just say this. Spoiler for Lord of the Rings. Three, two, one. I haven't seen it, but I know this concept. So in Lord of the Rings, there's a ring, and the ring gives you insane power. But the ring can corrupt your mind. The ring is a, a good hype, uh, example of, like, sin, right? It, it can give you power. Sin doesn't give you power, right? But it can give you power, the ring, but it can also corrupt your mind. And you pretty much are... A slave to the ring pretty much you won't be able to fight against the corruption of the ring in other words but there's this wizard and he's like super strong and overpowered and broken i forgot his name but he has long he's, he's really cool and wise but this wizard chooses to not even hold on to the ring to, to to guard it i think he wants to either destroy it or seal it because he already knows that if he were to touch the ring with his power everything the world is doomed because if he gets corrupted by the ring with his power Everything's doomed. Okay, if you've ever seen Naruto, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen Naruto, so if you want to cover your ears or back out, that's fine. All right, but here we go, boom. So that'd be, that'd be like if Naruto, Uzumaki, and I'm referring to Baruto, right? And I'm referring to... Nah, I, I, this next thing is a huge spoiler, so I got to be careful. I'm just saying I'm referring to Naruto Uzumaki from Baruto. I'll just say that, right? If he were to get a hold of the ring, it would corrupt his mind. But he's already incredibly strong, but now he's going to be stronger, but his mind is corrupted. The world is doomed. Literally. That's that's what I'm trying to say, right? That's the reason why he stays away from it. And that's what I was trying to say for trick-or-treating. It's just, if they're, if they're not doing this, but they always did this, I'm just worried about what the alternative was. Another example, my older brother, who I learned a lot from, a lot from, a lot from. He's a gamer too, but he passed away, but he was a gamer. And how he said it was, he liked gaming because it was an alternative to what he could have been doing. Cause you know, he grew up, you know, he passed away, he got shot, but you know, he, he was in a lot of gang banging and a lot of different, a lot of stuff. But when he gamed, it kept him off the streets pretty much. All right. It wasn't, it was a, a better alternative. So that's what I'm trying to say. I'm just worried about, if they weren't passing out candy like they usually do, could have just been sleep. Could have been anything, right? Either way, just be careful, you all. I'm worried about you all too sometimes. And, you know, it'd be steps away and then y'all turn on some like uh, bathtub stream or something. <laughs> Whatever that stuff is. Be careful. Always remember this. Always remember this. Even if you forget, even if you forget, God's still watching. Even if you forgot, God is still watching you and your decisions. All right, now I gotta take this break now. Just think about that though. I'll be back. Oh, and it'll be on the uh, Borderlands? It'll be on Borderlands, All right? Oh, or I could just do this. Oh, actually, you know what? Hey, thanks, Sunshine. I appreciate that. All right, you all. You all enjoy y'all's break, too. I'll be able to return momentarily. What? What did you say? Boom. There we go.
Remember, there's a, there's a delay between the audio of the music and LB, unfortunately. You know what? I, you know what I just thought about? He kind of looks like the brother from the Calypso twins. Kind of. I never finished all the way through Borderlands 3. He kind of looks like the brother. Hmm. I just thought about that. Anyway, listen, I faced a huge dilemma. <laughs> the dilemma of... Do, I, do we do this and categorize it under Borderlands, or do we categorize it under just chatting? And the reason why I face this dilemma is because I've played through Borderlands 2 too many times. I've played through this game so many times. The fun I have in Borderlands at this point, at Borderlands 2, at this point is just making a build. That's literally it, right? So, like, I'm playing Borderlands, but y'all know how LB also is, too. You know, like, once my mouth starts going, uh-oh. <laughs> So that's the dilemma I'm faced with. I was really thinking about it too, like the entire break. I was like, wait a second, what do I classify it under? <laughs> right? So we're gonna, I don't know, you know, I was really thinking about it a lot. So I guess we'll just alternate it every other day or something, or whenever I choose to play it, well, you know, whatever happens. Like I said, I don't try to plan too far ahead like that anymore. Just submit myself to God. Speaking of God, it's again and very important to thank God and the fact that we're able to even be here and enjoy some Borderlands and stream and just relax right now in this time, right? That's just such a blessing. Thank you, Lord. Right. <sighs> such a blessing. Now, this is the, what's his name again? The Cycle? This is the Cycle. I haven't actually done any builds with the Cycle yet. I'm just giving some context, right? Because I've never streamed Borderlands 2. But y'all know, you know, depending on how long you've been following LB, LB in the past has streamed some of Borderlands 3 and the Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. And eh, um, that's the right one. Oh, yeah, that, that one. Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. I was thinking of the first one. That's the second one. Yeah. The first one is the DLC. But the second one, it kept crashing. It kept having, it had too many bugs. So I just couldn't play it. So, and, and one bug in particular was tied to the build that I was running. A skill wasn't proccing at all. So I was like, okay, yeah, this, I'm not doing this, right? Because I had already invested quite a bit of time already into the game. And then that happened, I was like, yeah, no. So, but I've always liked Borderlands 2. Borderlands 2 is one of the, in my opinion, this is in the top 50 greatest games of all time. Just straight up. This game, yeah. Yeah. This game birthed so many other games because of this game, J truly. Borderlands 2 specifically. One, fantastic, but two, specifically. Yeah. And three is incredible as well. I, I, I didn't finish it, though, so I have to finish it. But I got really far in. But <clears throat> uh, the pre-sequel, no. That's just a, a poor game. Sorry. The, the, the pre-sequel takes the core skeleton of Borderlands 2, but it tries to put that skeleton onto a, a, a body of flesh that doesn't fit. You know, it just doesn't work. Hmm. But 2? <laughs> wow. And 3 is incredible again as well. I just didn't finish it. For, so, personal life stuff came up. But 3 is really good. As well. Once I'm satisfied with new game plus 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 whatever, right? Vault Ultimate Vault Hunter and stuff like that. Once I'm satisfied, then I'll go back back into Borderlands 3 again and but starting fresh. So anyway, the context. So LB has already done numerous builds on the Siren, uh, Lilith, Lilith, Maya, Maya. Lilith is from Borderlands 1. LB has done zero, a few, a few. I think only like two on zero. Uh, I forgot the 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 soldier's name. 
I only did one playthrough on him. I actually never found. I don't know. I was just only did one playthrough on him. Can't remember his name. And the one that has that can call in the mech or something like that. I don't know. She she's a girl. I just can't remember what she what what she is. But I did one playthrough on her. And the build I had on her was really fun and interesting. And but I've never done a playthrough on him ever at all. Oh, that's right. The the gun the gun zerker. The, I've actually never done a playthrough on the gun zerker, and that's the default character. Just don't personally find it fun or the idea of it. I'm sure it would be because it's Borderlands, but nah. But I haven't done a, a playthrough on him ever or any build on him. And there's so many characters in the the pre sequel that like I feel like doing builds for them would be super fun. But the pre-sequel just is not fun. Such a shame. I wish they brought those characters in here. Or whatever, you know. <clears throat> or just try it again with those characters. And using the builds and all that. Such a shame. I thought the character with the, with the shield and the sword or whatever. I thought she was so cool. Athena or whatever. I thought she was so cool. And then the, uh, the ice person. And then Claptrap. I didn't even ever. I only did. I only tried. The same character, Athena, like three, like three separate attempts of trying to play through the pre-sequel. It was, it was Athena each time. The game was just not it, man. Oh, but that's because it was made by a different developer. It was published still by uh, 2K and all that, right? But it was a different developer. It's a different team. It's not, not the same team that made Borderlands 2 that made the pre-sequel. Maybe people don't know that. So, but yeah, this game though, incredible. Man, and uh, this home screen is really good too. Really good. I I can't believe live service games haven't caught up to this yet. This home screen, like now I think about it, this was really ahead of its time. This home screen like this, because this is what live service games are like. But it's not rotating and it's not n nowhere near as immersive. I, I think Apex is the only one that's constantly trying to catch up to that to this you know borderlands 2 is an amazing game not just because of the gameplay or the story it's the little stuff like even this you know you see what i'm saying it's the little stuff like even this <laughs> and then claptrap says that that's what i'm talking about it's a lot of different things and they all come together and just make borderlands 2 like i said Top 50 greatest games of all time. Period. No matter what anybody has to say. Oh, wait. Did I, tell you about, I forgot to take off my break. Oh, did I even check and see if I was in sync? I don't think I did. Let me check and see if I'm in sync. Let's see. <clears throat> A E I O U. So it's like background noise. I don't know if that's the water or the whatever. I think it's the water. Or it's the air flowing too. It's a mix of both, actually. It just sounded really, really, really. Really, really, really. It sounded really loud. Oh! I gotta grab something real quick from the bedroom because we're gonna go over LB's top 10 favorite games of all time. Okay. I reappear and I reappear with my list of top 10 games of all time. Okay. Take note. Listen up. 
This is going to be a, a stream that has a lot of significance in the future for this reason. God willing. Okay, for this exact reason. All right. Up 10 games of all time. Including visual novels. This includes visual novels, okay? Hang on a second. Uh, yeah. Hmm? Oh, okay. All right, so <clears throat> and this includes visual novels. Now I have two separate... Hang on. I have two separate... Dude, the music is really good in Borderlands. Borderlands, dude. I have two. Listen, the voice lines in Borderlands One is rough. They say the same thing over and 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 over again. Here's here's claptrap. Ooh, I'm dancing. I'm dancing. Look at my moves. I'm dancing. Something like that. He just says that. Oh, every claptrap says that pretty much, unless there's like one that doesn't. But that over and over and over again. Uh oh, my controls are different. But Borderlands again was ahead of its time. You can even rebind. This game was ahead of its time. It just was. Console games back then, that just wasn't really a thing, like, at all. Even Borderlands 1 had that. Way ahead of its time. <clears throat> but, yeah. Anyway, my, my top 10 games of all time, there's two separate lists. The first list is my top 10 games of all Well, I don't know. Going through all this, I have no idea how long this will last. Because these are my top 10 games of all time. Okay. But I don't want to sit here and just explain all my life about my top 10 games of all time. Hey, I'm turning this Alright, so... But I still have to give some context. Right? Because these, this is something that's very important. Listen, I've said this in the past. A pleasure to meet you, Volta. It's... Uh, somebody... Okay, your brand new day of class. And new year, new school year or whatever. And it's day one. And teacher says, all right, everybody, I want you to introduce yourselves to everybody. Okay? I want you to introduce yourselves to everybody. Tell us tell us your name and one thing you did over the summer. Right? It happens all the time. Or at least I remember it happened in, like, practically almost all of my classes on, like, day one. Okay? Back then. So, but, but it's the same thing over and over and over again. You hear the same stuff over and over and over again. Therefore, you don't learn anything. So, I have actually always believed... If somebody were to, were to start out by saying what their favorite game of all time is or their favorite show of all time is or like their favorite, I don't know, anything, something like that, something to do with their hobby or what their favorite hobby is. What is your favorite hobby? But you can't say that because you can't you can't actually say that because then people would lie because they, they'd be afraid of somebody like judging them for saying something that's not cool. Either way, if a person is to, to tell you what their favorite game is or something like that, that's infinitely more value to me than, you know, the other generics thing like this is what I did over the summer. But that's that's still relevant. That's still like important, you know, but it's like it's just uh, it's a gimped answer. You know, it, we can be we can be talking about so, so much more. What you did over the summer isn't necessarily and has nothing to do with you necessarily. It, it's an experience. You understand? You might ha not have had any control over where you went or what you did over the summer. You might have not had no control. Like me, when I was a kid, it didn't matter what I wanted to do. I had to do what I was told to do for the summer, right? So that's irrelevant, again. But you saying what your favorite game of all time is, nobody can create that but yourself. Right? That says so much more to me. So that's why I've always prided myself on what my top 10 games of all time are. Because... A favorite is something that is so important, right? A, a, a favorite means literally number one, the most important thing, the number one thing, okay? That's 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 always how I've seen favorites because that's what it means. But I know it, it can kind of lose its value. So it's never lost its value to me for how I use it because I put so much stock in favorite because favorite helps identify a person. Because my favorite thing won't be your favorite thing. And your favorite thing won't be this person's favorite thing. That's why it has so much value. Because it's so bound to be something different. Especially when we're talking about video games. You know how many video games there are? There are so... Look, here's Roland. There are so many video games. Let me read this real quick. I already know all these ones, but I've never actually... 
I've never actually read the dialogue of what it says. Clap track can finally see now. It's time to get to sanction. Oh, I'm not reading. I like I like how they were on board on this one. Unfortunately, one man stands between you and the last free city on Pandora, named Captain Flint. Uh, I'm not reading these. Turn this one in. Good time, fun time. You enjoyed Lyersburg? No, Captain. You know, I've never been a fan of Sir Hemlock. Sir Hemlock. In fact, I remember when Apex Legends first came out. I remember when the game first came out. Titanfall 2 had the Hemlock, but nobody used the Hemlock. Okay, I remember when Apex first came out, and like I remember I picked up a PK, and that was not in Titanfall 2. So I was like, okay, that was one of the first guns I even picked up in, in Apex, right? Uh, <clears throat> so, because back in the day, they had a firing range practice thing. I don't know if they, st I think they still have it. But it's different because it's a new firing range. Now. Anyway, during the, the practice thing, there was a point where you slide down the hill and the character tells you to pick up a weapon. I picked up a PK because i would never seen that before. And that was really because that wasn't in Titanfall 2. So what I'm trying to say is when I played to, uh, Apex Legends and I saw the Hemlock, I got disgusted. I thought of all the guns from Titanfall 2, why would they bring that one back? <laughs> Right? But, yeah. I just, when I think of the Hemlock, I think of Sir Hemlock. I, that's, I just don't like this character, really, like, at all. I've just never... I have tried. I've tried. I just can't get into Sir Hemlock. Like, I don't know what... I don't know. I understand, like, he's an important character for the lore. And he gets flushed out of Borderlands 3. Yes! I know. God made everybody different. <laughs> he just ain't for me. Well, I don't know. Maybe other people don't like them either. I literally have no idea. I don't even know the Borderlands community even. I don't even know how they act. All my life in Borderlands, it's always just been single player, single player. Single player. I have no clue. What the <laughs> None. None. I don't know if they speed run. I don't know. I don't know. I, well, okay, let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase that. I've always liked Borderlands all my life, but I've never been a member of the community. Because I've never even, like, acknowledged it. And not in a bad way. I've just... Never looked at it. Okay. So, what I'm saying is, the members of the community, I don't know what they do. Because every video game community is different. Right? Video game communities are like, it's like, a diff it's like going to a different country. Literally. The Apex Legends community is not the same as the Rainbow Six Siege community. That community is not the same as the, the Smash community. Which, that community, since now we're from the FGC community, is not the same community as the Street Fighter community. Every community is different. I, I'm telling you, it's so crazy. But you, a person doesn't have to get invested in the community. A person can go their entire life completely, at, you know, not acknowledging the community. It's possible. I've done it for a lot of games. But... If you've been blind to certain communities, and when you realize them, sometimes you're you're glad you you uncovered it, and other times you're just very disappointed. And the biggest example I can say for myself is for for Fire Emblem. I went through my entire life not even actually thinking about the fact that there is a community for Fire Emblem until uh, Fire Emblem Engage actually made me no no Fire Emblem Three Houses is when that made me actually realize because that's when i I'm, I'm listen i didn't uncover reddit <laughs> i didn't uncover reddit until until my 20s i'll say that for sure i've always known like reddit is like a a, a website you know i've always known that but like i literally was completely blind and ignorant to what it actually was i just didn't know it was like a different language i didn't even want to even get invested in it. it it just seemed so alien to me even though like i said that was in my 20s this wasn't that long ago but the more you become aware on time and the passage of time the more you realize how fast things around us really do move but the enemy doesn't want us to recognize that he wants you to see every single day like the exact same my day today was nothing like the day yesterday there are things that are similar, right? Like yesterday I sat on this couch. 
I'm sitting on this couch again today, right? But the enemy wants you to, to, to stop there and focus on that, that one similarity instead of seeing the bigger picture, right? And it's so easy to, to focus on that one thing. It's unfortunate, right? It's because our, our flesh is embedded with sin, right? That's just how it is, right? So certain things we just, our, 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 our human mind will not be able to comprehend. No matter how much we try to make it, try to make sense, it just won't. Work. There are certain things just won't. As long as we're tied to our flesh. But either way, it's okay. Because we have. There's an alternative out there. A eternity, a life without this flesh. Without sin. That's why it's important to recognize the fact that Jesus Christ died for our sins. This is really crazy. To think about and actually think about stuff like this don't not think about it i know it's strange to think about it because the world doesn't really think about it but remember the world is the kingdom of the enemy the enemy being satan dude i just never liked sir hemlock's quests or just <laughs> i never liked this this i mean this area this is this area of borderlands it's just really interesting looking at borderlands from a different perspective from a streaming perspective, right? Because it really makes me actually think about this area. I've always disliked him. I don't, I don't dislike Sir Hemlock. I'll say it like this. I feel, the way I feel about Sir Hemlock is the same way that I feel about Vantage from Apex. It's just, I just don't feel comfortable around them. You know, and I don't mean like they're gonna hurt me. They're not gonna hurt me. They're, neither is a threat. Well, technically Vantage is because she's competing in the Apex games and not just anybody can compete in the Apex games. So technically she technically is. Right, but it's like I don't know. Make my skin crawl. I don't know. I don't know. Did I not have this quest active yet? I thought. I, oh, okay, I thought I pushed it. It sparked. I have the volume turned all the way down my ears. By the way, so just in case Sir Hemlock says something like, "Oh, you know, coming from Borderlands Three, it gets so it gets the the, the temptation to want to slide is." Always there. You know he can slide Borderlands 3. Can you imagine how different wait in Borderlands 1 there's fall damage? I can't remember if there's fall damage in this game. No. But Borderlands 1 does have fall damage. You have to you have to fall from really high though. How do I know this? Because I was recently playing to Borderlands 1. I never really liked Borderlands 1 that much. It's just uh, at the time, obviously the game that game was ahead of its time. So. But Borderlands 2 takes everything of Borderlands 1, but like I don't know, dude. They went crazy on this game. Like, gameplay design and everything. Like, they went genius mode on this game, really. They turned their brains on when they were developing Borderlands 2. It's crazy. It really is. This game was so ahead of its time. I, know I keep saying that, but it's just really crazy to think about. Oh, dang it. What, what, what does this do? What's this part? I remember the first time I played through this game, the very first time I played through this game, for some reason, this quest just confused the mess out of me. <laughs> I don't know why. It, oh, I think I'm remembering why now. This area that I'm going to now that I'm heading towards. Wow, it's so crazy to... This area over here confused me when I was first played this game for the first time. It feels like just yesterday! I was a teenager. What was I pre -teen? One of those. I don't remember. Oh. It's like it's like 14, 15. Yeah, I was like 14, 15. Yeah, I don't think I was 14. I think I was 15. I mean, I literally could just check. Let me just check. What year did Borderlands 2 come out? Later the year it came out. Did I? Yeah, I think I did. Borderlands 2 release date 2012. All right, so now we got to do some math here. Okay, hang on. Calculator. Remember, 2012 is when it came out. So we do 20, 23 minus 2012. Well, you could have done 23 minus 12. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that was 11 years ago. So now let's see. This is the LB age reveal. Do the math. All right. So I was 15 then. I was 15 when I played Borderlands 2. That's really interesting. That's really interesting. It feels like just yesterday. Wow. That's crazy. Now I have a wife and I have kids. I think about this all the time. Well, I don't think about it all the time. It just smacks me in the face all the time. 
where I can't help but think about it because it's just so just crazy. I'm like just yesterday, I was in my room <laughs> in my underwear, right? And then here I am. And I've done a lot in my already. In my short life, but I've done so much. Go ahead and waste my time. Don't waste your time. But I consciously chose not to. I based on certain things in my life that happened. But also too, you know, now that I have a God. Wow. Playing it coming from Borderlands 3, I'm telling you, it really makes you want to just vault literally everything, but you can't. I remember why. Now I understand why. Because when Borderlands Oh, I'm remembering now also too why I got this. It's this is like the only quest in the game that's like it just seems kinda kinda confusing. You gotta do you gotta shoot this thing off. I what you gotta do to turn it off. You gotta you gotta trace the wire or something. Oh, wrong. There's like one other quest in the game that's like this as well. Is that it? Claptrap's talking. I, I have all this muted. Remember, let me turn it up. I'll just run through it. Okay, yeah. Whatever. I guess I could have done that low. Oh, wow. I, I fell for that. All these years. It's been a minute. Like I said, this is Borderlands, Borderlands, Claptrap. Do I trace it back here? I can't remember. This is like the only quest in the game that's like this. This and one more. This. Let me just platform my way up. But yeah, when Borderlands 3 was coming out, the developers kept, they were like, and there's vaulting in the game. Like, they made it a point to express that vaulting is in the game. And I was like, dude, like, why are they putting so much stock in vaulting? Like, you know, yeah, it's vaulting. But no, yeah. Because when this game came out, Call of Duty was already out, and that game, that game has vaulting. I can't remember if I had to come back here and shoot this thing. Let me just see. But yeah, Call of Duty already had vaulting and stuff like that. So, in other words, that was already the standard, because Call of Duty was the standard for, more, for multiplayer FPS games. And, um, yes, this is a single-player game, but remember that this game, even Borderlands 1, already had a live service main menu before live service was a thing. In America, really. In, the, in you know, the Midwest and stuff. All right, I'll trace it back here. Is this is what I'm supposed to do. I can't remember. I don't even think so. Thank you, Claptrap. Claptrap thinks he's so funny. He is. I remember <clears throat> in Borderlands 3, they said that Claptrap has a different voice actor before the game came out, and I was like, oh, no. I was so worried about that. But no, it's it's completely okay. The, it's a good voice actor. Dang it. I just, this, this, I just don't remember, man. Okay, there. Finally. That. Because uh, I knew I was, you shoot something. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, now, my top 10 games of all time, like I said, I have two different versions. There is the version that includes visual novels, and then there is the other version that does not include visual novels. The reason why I have two different versions, here's why. Because some people consider visual novels games, and some people do not. I'm in that camp. They're not video games. A uh, visual novel is not a video game. A visual novel, it, oh, I'm turning this down. A visual novel is not a video game. Listen, a visual novel is a novel that has elements from games, and not all visual novels even have that, <laughs> right? It's it's very loose, you know. It's kind of like visual novels is almost as at this point it's almost as loose as the term roguelite and roguelike and RPG. You know what I mean? It, 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 we're slowly getting to that point for visual novels. I'm gonna just be honest. Right. Oh, what am I getting here again? The shield? Right, that's what I'm supposed to buy? Yeah, person the shield. I already got one. My inventory's full. Pushing all the wrong buttons. Okay, hang on. We gotta clean this out. There was a there was a game I played recently that has like a looting system, but I thought they did it horribly. I can't remember what it was. And the reason why I thought they did it horribly is because they didn't, they didn't have the system that Borderlands has where you can sell your junk and when you can mark items as junk. I don't know if Borderlands, I don't know if Borderlands is like, uh, what's that called? Patent. I highly doubt it. But 
I just crazy that that game. I can't remember what it was though. Hang on, wait. Before we we sell stuff, we got to go through the builds. I haven't really even went through this. Guy. Like I said, I haven't played through. I've never done a build on him before. But I know what people generally do with him. And now I'm not saying this is a borderline community. Like I said, I don't know anything about the community, right? But I have heard years ago though that for him, Craig, people like to full invest and just go unga boonga with the with the buzzsaw, the buzz axe. So I don't want to do that then. So I'm gonna do something different, law. Something that's not buzz axe or his or his melee. Well, but that's actually his his action skill. So press LB to start. You know your buzz axe rampage. During buzz axe rampage, your melee damage and movement speed are increased. Killing an enemy instantly refills your health. Taking damage accelerates cooldown. Recharge. Huh? Oh, wow. This is really interesting. Okay, so now I'm starting to understand. So it's like a lot of builds with for kind of like you just have are constantly running on low HP or something, but then you're healing yourself with no shields and no shield builds, but he has like a lot of health. Wow. He's a specialized, really specialized type of character. But let me just go through the through the trees because it's because I'm going towards like I'm imagining like I think what I'm imagining is what is probably the most popular thing. So let's do something different. Melee damage is five hundred percent increase. And it's 120 seconds. And you can throw it. Alright. So Mania, Bloodlust, and Hellborn. Which one of those names do we want to read down first? And you don't you don't have to just stick I know some people stick to just one tree or intermix and stuff. It's just really intimate. Well, that's so cool. Okay, but I'm gonna read through this one first. Bloodlust. Blood filled guns. Magazine size of all weapons increase for each stack of bloodlust. And what is bloodlust again? What what, what is that? What is bloodlust? Dealing damage to an enemy as a stack of bloodlust. Stacks decay after a few seconds if you haven't dealt damage. Okay. Okay. Magazine of all weapons increase for each stack of bloodlust. Okay. So you can have 100, ma 100 stacks max. Magazine size increases by 0.5% per stack. Hmm. Okay. Uh, that's, uh, that's like an AR build or something like that. Oh, hang on one second. I got to take care of this message real quick. Eleven, fifteen, F. Okay. Second one. Oh yeah. Anyway, this sounds like like the first thing my brain is thinking of just reading that is like ARs or something. Running ARs because you know ARs have a big mags, especially like the. I'm trying to remember the brands. Bandit. Bandit has huge mags. Oh, I could see that. He is a psycho. After all, blood blood twitch. He is a psycho. After all, and bandit is like that brand. Okay, blood twitch kill skill. Kill skill. Okay, this is kill skill. That's that shape. Killing an enemy increases your weapon swap speed for each stack of bloodlust. Why, why, why would he have this? Why would he have this? Huh. Does the weapon swap speed count towards your ultimate? An axe throwing? And, uh, I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Taste of blood. During buzz axe rampage, all damage you suffer is reduced. Damage reduction is increased. For each stack of bloodlust. Plus 10 per kill. So max damage reduction. 10% for level 1. Remember. So it could potentially probably go to like. 50% damage reduction. Bloodlust X. Plus 10 per kill. Okay. 
Bloody Revival. Assault Rifle Damage. Oh, see, boom. Assault Rifle Damage during Fight for Your Life is increased for each stack of Bloodlust. 0.3% per stack. And I feel like it'd be really easy to get 100 stacks. So let's just calculate that real quick. 100 times 0.3. I feel like I should know what that looks like. Times 0.3. 30% increased damage. Wow. And that's only if 100 is a max for this one, for this specific skill. Blood Overdrive. A kill skill. Killing an enemy with a bullet increases your melee damage and reduces grenade fuse time for each stack of bloodlust. Hmm. Specific grenades. Literally just like Oonga Boonga, Gunzerker type thing, but like tank or something. Okay. Kill, kill. Killing an enemy with a grenade or explosion increases gun damage for each stack of bloodlust. Enemies killed this way have a greater chance of dropping grenade ammo. Hmm. Not fairly. But it is something different, though. Hmm. Buzzax Bombarder. When thrown, your Buzzax now has dynamite attached to it, which explodes on impact. Next level axe go boom. Is this just one? This is just one thing. Yeah, this is just one one point you put in. Fuel with blood kill skill. It says axe go boom. Killing an enemy with melee attacks increases grenade damage for each stack of bloodlust. I've never used grenades in Borderlands, so I guess this might be pretty interesting if I were to do like a grenade deal for this guy. <laughs> it will be different. I never use grenades in Borderlands. I wonder if any characters in Borderlands 3 have any grenade builds. I'm sure. Blood Trance. Duration of Buzz Axe Rampage is increased for each stack of Bloodlust. Okay. Increases the time before Bloodlust stacks start to decay. Hmm. Increases the time before bloodlust stacks start to decay. Killing an enemy increases your reload speed for each stack of bloodlust. Hmm. Do bandit weapons reload slow? Probably. ARs have always been like that in Borderlands. But they're good in Borderlands 3. Killing an enemy causes the end. They're good in, in 1, but only the ones that are burst. Killing an enemy, unless you got like something crazy. Killing an enemy causes them to explode with an elemental nova. Matching the element of the damage that killed it with non-elemental damage, creating an explosion nova. An explosive nova. Nova damage is increased for each stack of bloodlust. Mm -hmm. Any overkill damage is also added to damage caused by elemental nova. Okay. Well... Seems interesting. Now let's check this one. Mania. Empty Rage. Increases melee damage. Further increase... If Wait, so is Bloodlust only tied to that one? Oh, wow. Bloodlust is only tied to that one. Or at least it's not only tied to this middle one. Increases melee damage. Further... What's this one called? It is called Bloodlust. So I guess that makes sense. Okay, anyway. Increases melee damage. Further increased if shield is down or your magazine is empty. So, okay, I, okay. So this is the close quarters one. It sounds like upon death you drop a free grenade. Enemies dropped with enemies killed with this grenade reward double XP. So interesting. But fifty is the max level in Borderlands, right? Increases maximum health and shield recharge delay. Hmm. Max health increased by ten percent and shield recharge delay zero point five seconds. That's big. Especially if you do that five times, if it still allows you to do it five, which probably does. That's pretty good. Fuel the Rampage. Because the way it does it in Borderlands generally, unlike some other games, generally in Borderlands, it's the same number. So it's 10, the next one 20, then 30, then 40, then 50. It's not like 10, then it's not like, it's not like 10, then 20, then 25, then 28, then 29, then 30. You know, it's not like that. Some, some skills are. But generally in Borderlands, I've always liked the fact that it's not like that. It just allows, it just makes it funner. 
Taking the damage, and it makes it more easier to like form your build. Taking damage recharges Buzz Axe Rampage at a faster rate. Taking health, your, ulti or your action skill. Taking health damage increases the bonus even further. You can now be damaged by teammates. Hmm. Strip the flesh increases explosive damage. Bonus increased further when fight for your life. Increases explosive damage. It's increased by 3%. And then fight for your life is another 3%. Embrace the pain. Increases fire rate while your shields are down. Additionally increases the delay. Increases the delay? Before your shields start to recharge. Hmm. Okay. Thrill of the kill. A percentage of overkill damage... Damage that is over and above what was needed to kill the enemy is returned to you as health. Oh, that's cool. The lower you, but that makes sense for this type of build for like what Mania is trying to kind of trying to do. I'm gonna be honest. I don't even think I needed to. I don't think I would even get this low down in this kind of build. All right. Anyway, Hellborn, burn baby, burn, burn. Oh, wait, is this like fire build for him? Burn damage increased and affects. I'm, I might run that. That sounds kind of fun. Effects further increase while you are on fire. Chance to light yourself on fire when igniting an enemy. Chance to light yourself on fire? Well, I'm sure there's going to be some benefit to that that I can find down the skill tree. Because <laughs> that doesn't, you know. Okay, kill skill. Wait, wait, let me let me read it again, though. So it increases burn damage and effects further increase while you are on... Oh, right, right there. The effects are further increased while you are on fire. So, burn damage is increased by 7%, plus an additional 15% damage of uh, burn damage if I'm on fire. Okay. But now let's see if, there, see if that, you know, if there's a benefit to being on fire. Like right here. All damage received is reduced while you're on fire. Boom. That sounds actually fun. And, all right. Kill. Oh, no. Wait. This is a kill skill. Killing an enemy increases your chance of causing elemental effects, aka increasing the chance of them catching on fire. This is like a clear, obvious, like. You, you could literally just run a whole skill tree. Well, but you could make some other stuff too, of course. It's boiling. But like for a beginner. I want to effect chance inc increase by 40%. Stuff ignite chance by 7%. Jeez. Increases gun damage for all gun types except sniper rifles. Decreases critical hit damage with all, all weapons and increases melee damage. Effects... Further increase while you're on fire. Well, I'm just going to say this. I'm not going to run that. Melee attacks. Oh, wait. Hang on. Hang on. I have to reconsider. Melee attacks have a chance to ignite enemies. Weapon accuracy and reload speed are increased while you're on fire. No, I'm not going to run it. I'm going to be honest. All the mental status effects you inflict have a chance to light yourself on fire. Ignite chances are determined by those accumulated from burn. Burn? Maybe. Oh, burn, maybe burn, fuel the fire. I thought that was. I was going to say. Night chances are determined by those accumulated from burn. So it combines two things. It combines burn, baby, burn. Is that this? And fuel the fire? Wow. Okay, elemental elation. While elemental status effect damage is being done to enemies, you gain stacks of elemental elation. Fire rate and magazine size increased for each stack of elemental elation. Stacks will not decay while you are on fire. How long do you stay on fire in Borderlands? Fire rate increased by 1%. Magazine by 1%. Max stacks 20. So for max of 20%. Likely. Flame flare increases the duration of all burn effects on you. Oh, well, we'll talk about, I'll talk about how long you stay on fire, but then that happens. Each time you apply a burn effect to an enemy, there's a chance another burn effect will be applied after a short time. That's that was really good. Pressing. Uh, main lane causes you to breathe fire in the cone in front of you. So even more. Probably literally guarantees that you're going to be on fire because you're breathing fire. A percent elemental sympathy. A percentage of elemental status effects of status effect damage done to enemies tells you. Dude. While you are on fire, taking damage from enemies will spawn. Wait, if you hit somebody with slack, that's what's called, right? Does it. Slack causes you to deal more damage. Does it override burn? I don't. I don't. Want, the new game pluses and stuff, the Vault Hunter, Ultimate Vault Hunter stuff, Slack is almost essential. If it overrides the fire, that's going to be kind of pointless. 
While you are on fire, taking damage from enemies will spawn homing balls of fire that seek out the attacker and explode on impact. Fireballs can only trigger once per second. Yeah, this sounds insane. I'm doing this one. <laughs> I literally was just full commit to this one, but certain ones I'm going to pass up, like the melee one. Like this one. Uh, maybe I might do this one. Though. But uh, this one, I'm not running it, and I'm not going to be running this one. No, that was fun. I might intermix some other stuff in here. Let me see again. Hmm. Magazine size of all weapons increase. I could go. I could allow myself to have bloodlust just for this, so I can run bandit. Because bandit sounds fun. Running bandit sounds fun. Hmm. Wait, does bandit have fire weapons? Maybe not till like New Game Plus. I don't remember if it has. Obviously, Mali win. But Mali win on here, I don't think they make ARs. They make SMGs. So, there's no point in running this then. Magazine size is irrelevant for an SMG. Even if you increase it by a lot, still not don't really care if it's not going to be for Bandit. Just for funsies, you know. Kill, kill. Killing an enemy increases your swap speed for each stack of blood loss. Will I need this for the fire thing? Nah. I'm not only to run that. Increases mana damage. Nope. Upon death, you drop a nope. Increases maximum shield. Uh, increases maximum health. And. Okay, I might get this. And then start here. Matt, just, just just get five of this and then start here. No, I want to start this as soon as possible. But I won't have access to fire weapons anytime soon. I'm surprised I haven't got this gun. That's this this toxic gun, honestly. Just a really good drop. Increases maximum health. Yeah, I can go. I can get. I can level this up to five real quick. I still will probably won't find a fire weapon. If I do, I do whatever. Okay. Okay, now. Wait, do I have space? Oh, anyway, now I know what I'm going to run. So now I can go ahead and, from that, decide what I want to drop. And of course, like I said, I'm not going to find nothing. So I can pretty much just sell everything. Let's be real. I don't run Teddy Door. Unless, like, it's for a build. Lol. Oh, and I'm not running Jacobs this this playthrough. I always just I always go Jacobs. I'm not going him when I'm, I'm not running Jacobs. I always run Jacobs because I just like him a lot. But I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm gonna try my hardest to not just come on. We don't don't win. Grants immunity to burn damage. Does that mean that I can catch on fire and flammability and flammable shield? For some builds, I could just run this for the for this character. I could just straight up just run this. Did the game give this to me? I have to, I have to hold on to this because this could, I mean, that literally could just make certain other builds insanely fire. They have nothing to do with me being on fire. I just pretty much am about to solve everything. It is gracious. Who needs a medical license when you got to die? Oops, there you go. Oh, wait, I, got, I have to buy the shield. Well, you there you go. There's a shield. Yeah, give me out this planet. All right, top against of all time. Now the first one we're going to do is also the first one we're going to do is non-visual novels. Okay. Like I said, some people consider them games. Some don't. I'm not about to get into it right now. Like I said, I personally don't consider them games. They're similar to games, but they're not. I'm not going to explain why I think that. I'm not going to do the. I don't care if somebody's like, "Well, LB, come on, bro. They're just like stop. It's just the pen." There's no points. Pointless having a point of debate about this. Now. We won't, even, we won't even start my number one. I'm going to start my my number 10. Starting from 10. I'm not going to fully explain every single reason why. From bullets. Would you like to do battle with a I remember when I, I did this mission for the first time. The Bully Mong one. My first playthrough ever. That was really hard. Alright. Number 10. Fire Emblem. Three Houses. Four slash fire emblem, th 
three hopes. Wow, do I like Fire Emblem Three Houses and Fire Emblem Three Hopes. In fact, you know what? I might have to change the list. I'm looking at. I, I remember, I, I have my list right here. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change something real quick. I'm going to flop, flip this. Yep, I'm gonna swap those two. So my number ten, of, my number ten favorite game of all time is Fire Emblem and Engage. But first, let me turn off since the, the vibration. Oh no! Can't turn it off. Oh, here it is. It's only per shot vibration. Anyway, my my tenth tenth place for my favorite my tenth favorite game of all time is Fire Emblem Engage. Why? Now it's so important to remember. Okay, if I haven't really talked about this too often. My favorite game franchise of all time is Fire is Final Fantasy, but second is Fire Emblem. In fact, it might actually be Fire Emblem. Genuinely, I mean, I have, I have just endless more time in Fire Emblem than I do Final Fantasy. But at the same time, Final Fantasy is part of the reason why I even game in the first place. You know, and some of my favorite games of all time are from Final Fantasy. But there's only three Final Fantasy games that are on this top ten game uh, games of all time list. How many Fire Emblems are on here? Three, four. There's four. By the way, honestly, at this point, I don't think Final Fantasy is my favorite. Maybe a Fantasy one, but just literally just a, a split top between Fire Emblem and Final Fantasy. Anybody that actually knows me on a personal level would definitely know me with that statement. Now, number 10 again is Fire Emblem Engage. <sighs> Do I explain why? I'll just say this. For a game to be my favorite game of all time, it has to have affected me in some way. Okay? It has to have shaped the way that I view and perceive certain things in life. Literally. It's that serious. Sell up some stuff. Whoops. You gone, gone, gone. Mm. Oh, it's Teddy Door. Okay. A new scan for the character. Oh, wait, I remember this. This thing shoots like balls and they explode in the sky. What company makes this? Glad off. I should have. I shouldn't have sold that. Shouldn't have sold that AR. ARs are so. Unless your build costs for it, ARs are so bad in Borderlands 2. I'm sorry. They just are. Unless your your build calls for it, ARs are not good in Borderlands 2. Or what? Except for three round burst ones in Borderlands. Like, I just can't think of a single. Good brand weapon weapon manufacturer in Warlands dude that does AR. I just can't. If your build doesn't call for it, I mean, remember, if your build doesn't call for it. Oh, I, I don't like this grenade. I remember this one. I never liked this one. I don't like it. That's why I've never touched grenades. That's why I said if I were to do like grenade build, it'd be definitely different. Really. You can't I just don't stop me. Jeez, I was strong. Does that grenade build have something where he restocks his grenades and like he replenishes them? Or they have a really high per grenade drop rate or something? I'm sure it says something like that. It would be interesting to just try it. Maybe in the future. Oh, I got something red. Alright, but anyway, though, so Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem Engage is my 10th favorite game of all time. Of all time. I've played a lot of games, and games are pretty important to me. Right? They're not, it's not just a video game. It's a, it's a piece of art. It literally is. The reason why I don't just play any game. <laughs> right? And that's the reason why I don't just game, game, game endlessly. I'm like, I was a kid. There were points where I did, but that was 
I don't know. I, I I didn't respect games like I do now, but I still did then more than that any per anybody would ever even be able to understand. Right. But I just then I didn't under I didn't understand how much significance they would have on my life long term. I'll say it like that. I respected games for what everything I was learning from games and the the things games got me through, but I did just didn't know like literally the, the scale to which it would pay off for me. Never imagined. It's been impossible. Impossible to. Only person that could have known that was God Himself. That's the only person. Any any, any other anybody else would just sound strange or all like I'm just being weird. Or being dramatic. Like I said, just got himself. Nine, 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 nine. Man, this game was so. Oh, shoot, I'm on ammo. I, I saw it was getting low, too. But thankfully, I found some pistol ammo. Oh, that's right. Semi. I like the the weapon variety in Borderlands 3 as well, more. Obviously, it does. The game came out literal years later. But I just personally think I, Borderlands. I personally think Borderlands 3 gets a little. Too much flack. The game is incredible. And I think the villains are really good. I just feel like people probably don't like the Calypso Twins because they're not handsome. Yeah. And that's on Jack is cool. I'm not taking nothing away from the guy. I mean, wow, dude. Like I said this game is in the top 50 games of all time for a lot of different things. And he's one of them. But the Calypso Twins. I like them a lot. I'm not even saying that like, oh yeah, they were okay characters. No, like I literally like them. Even if, oh my gosh, <laughs> that hurt. Nothing oh my god, stuff. In Borderlands One, you can open up your your inventory midair. All right, well, so we got. I'm not about to sit here and equip. I'm not about to sit here and equip that, that AR. You must be out of your mind. Reload canceling is really strong on Borderlands 1, especially with the ARs. And let me see, in fact, hold on, let me see if it's strong on here too, with the ARs. Oh, yep, yeah, it's going to be. Oh, and it has a melee. What's going on with this thing? 50% melee damage. I don't know how that's 50% more. You ain't doing nothing but just hitting them with the circular barrel, but okay, whatever. Borderlands. <laughs> so strange. But yeah, okay, so ARs do have reload cancel on here. Uh, okay, sure, I'll use this thing, man. Whatever. The only way I would. Oops. But yes, number 10 is Fire Emblem. I don't want to say I wish Fire Emblem was on Xbox because that just sounds like the most toddler baby casual thing like I, I could ever say. But I will say this. Listen, Nintendo, please. For the Nintendo Switch 2, can you integrate Twitch onto the platform? Yeah. It shouldn't be the most tedious, annoying thing to stream on the Nintendo Switch. I understand it's possible. I, I get that. I know how to do it. I have all the necessary things required. But it's just too much for me. Personally. It's just doing too much for me personally. Personally. So, so please, please listen. All right, because it's only a matter of time until the Switch 2 or the Switch Pro or whatever y'all want to call it comes out. Oh, actually, hopefully you don't call it the Switch Pro. Hopefully you do call it the Switch 2 or call it something different. I don't want a repeat of the Wii U. And what I mean by that is, I like the Wii U. I just don't want the Wii U to be a... I just don't want the, the Switch Pro to be a failure because they chose not to call it a 2. You know? Not to put a 2 behind it. Because it's going to be a, a new console. That's just like the Switch, but a new console. Right? Kind of like the Xbox Series to the Xbox One. It's the same thing, but it's not. It's a new console, but it... You know, it's really confusing, honestly. I, I don't know. It's pretty complicated. To explain it, like, to, to try to, like, casualize the explanation. 
Oh, okay, I can get my access skill now. By the way, Dang it. Okay, I'm on now. Never interrupt me. I'll just keep coming, you dumb bully ball. Ouch. Maybe come on. Bully Mong hunting. This is what Hemlock be doing. Just hunting him with some Bully Mong. With his Jacob's gun. Hmm. I like I like the proficiencies in Borderlands 1. But I like the thing that Borderlands 3 does. Where the more you use a gun, you get rewarded. With a new gun from the company. I like that too. But I don't know if Borderlands 2 has anything like that. I don't know. Maybe. I don't, oh, that's right. This. It has this. Right? It's this, isn't it? It's this. But doesn't Borderlands 3 also have this? Does it? I don't remember. Alright, so but I have to figure this out, though, for this character. So, or for this build, specifically. Hmm. Let's go with... Maximum health? Reload speed? I like proficiencies more. I don't know. Just depends on how many of these there are. Loot. It looks like it because it looks like it caps at five. I don't know what proficiencies ever capped. Add some D's. Kill kill enemies. Get crits. See, I'm around level two out of five. Hmm. Not sure. Anyway, let's go down and get that action skill real quick. Boom. Now we have it. 120 second cooldown, I think is what it said. I always take this route over here every time. Yes. No matter if I'm on New Game Plus 1, 2, or 3, or whatever. I will still loot the little stuff. That's how I am. I don't know. I've never actually done the second. I don't think I've done ultimate ball hunter mode. I think I've only just done ball hunter mode. And... I don't know. I don't, don't remember. I just remember some of my builds I've done the ball hunter mode. The second one. True ball hunter mode. And that's the real game of Borderlands. That's the real game. It's just... It's... It strikes the perfect balance of difficult because you you created your own character by that point, and now you're actually playing the game how the developers intended it to be played. Difficult to watch. That makes sense. The first game is like a tutorial, but it's really I don't know, man. That's why I don't know if that's why I don't you know it's the RPG thing is really loose. I think, I don't know if I agree with the XP thing in that sense. Like, I feel like if you know what build you want to go for, maybe you should, they should have a, a, a mode where you can just skip straight to Ball Hunter mode or whatever, and then with that character, and with that build. Maybe, I don't know. I'm sure some games have done that, and I'm, maybe it just didn't play out that well. Maybe it seemed good on paper. It wasn't engaging because it's also your. That's a part of the fun of it too, I guess. Is the journey working towards completing the build of it. But after you've done so many builds, it kind of just, just feels like it's like, come on, dude. I know what I want. Let me just get. Come on. You can't stop me. I always take this route. So funny. I am a number nine favorite favorite game of all time. And again, not this is the non non visual novels version. Is ah, Persona Five Royal? Yeah. Yep. Persona Five Royal. Nah, I specifically put Royal because obviously it's Persona Five still, right? But the best version of Persona Five. I mean, there's no point in even sitting. I'm not, there's, don't be a dumb toddler, baby elitist type. Come on, wake up. Okay. 
it's Persona 5, but with new additions, new personas, and the new character. I forgot her name already, but her. I last played through Persona 5 to 20, literally the year it came out, when I did it on my PS4. I never got PS5. Um, really wish I had a PS5. These things are so freaking annoying. Hold on, I have a shotgun. This is how I deal with them. Just get a shotgun. For some reason, it's just really effective at range. Specifically against these dumb things. This reminds me of, like, if they're flying units from Fire Emblem and I have a bow and arrow and I have a shotgun. They just take super effective damage. To I only know that because Borderlands 1 literally uses a character set that. I'm not using a shotgun against the rat. I was like, in my mind, I was like, what? That don't even make any sense. Why would I use that? But then I did, and it's just like, it's just is crazy effective for some reason. So, okay. Yep. Hey, listen. <laughs> right, here goes action school. Oh. So, this is melee. It's throwing the axe the same amount. Why not just always throw? Why? Hmm. Oh wait, maybe that ties into your your skills and stuff. If you have a build specifically for melee, and it benefits from that in that regard. Okay. I got both of them. I got all of them. Sure, whatever, whatever, him lock. Oh yeah, I remember this one when you gotta choose. That's funny. I always give it to Clap Jack. I don't want to give it to him. Don't put your person on lock. Is there another character in, in Borderlands that just like makes me feel odd? Just like rubs me the wrong way. Uh, let me think. Oh yeah, yeah there is. There it is. Hmm. Any more? Hmm. I always thought Scooter was kind of strange. I know that's probably really unpopular to say. I've never really been so good to Scooter. Oh, that dumb freaking blue mom hit me. Boot me off. I wish Apex had a one shot sh shotgun that did crazy damage. Never mind, no, I don't. That wouldn't even be fun to fight against. That just would be frustrating. It'd be just as annoying to, to, to like peek a corner and instantly get one shot headshot. Perish the thought. Is that bull drop? Oh, it doesn't. His axe doesn't have a bull drop. I was like overshooting that. Dang, hold on. You just become so. You just deal so much damage during it, but do I actually gain health? I don't. But melee damage just shoots through the roof. Okay. Unless I choose to like invest and make him tankier during that all. <laughs> Screw that noise. Claptrap. Hell, he'll give me a sniper for Claptrap will give me a shotty. <laughs> Claptrap. Oh, yeah. So do I play the the cycle that doesn't want to soak up damage? The cycle instead that's elemental? And shoots his guns? I think so. Well, yeah. Like fire cycle? Literally, the, the, literally, the fire cycle. Ah, he ran into me. Fight for your life is so hard in Borderlands 1 because the screen is called by you. You can't see nothing. 
and then your 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 character is like slumped over. I'm never like fight for this. Borderlands One is just I'm telling you, it's actually really hard. Yeah, I'm it's a completely different game. Oh, it's not completely different, but uh, it, you can definitely tell the game was made to be. You can definitely tell the game of Borderlands One was made to be put. Oh, shoot. I'm going to kill this guy. He's like right here. Yeah, you can definitely tell Borderlands 1 was made to be played. The difficulty scaling is pretty rough. And especially in the beginning of the game. But after a certain point, then you just... It kind of reminds me of Shin Megami Tensei, actually. Where Shin Megami Tensei games are just really hard in the beginning. They're just... Cr they're brutal. They're brutally hard in the, in the very beginning. And when I say Shin Megami Tensei, I'm specifically referring to the main series games. It, they're just so hard in the beginning. Speaking of that, number my eighth favorite game of all time. Now, there's a running trend you're gonna notice here. My favorite games of all times are RPGs. They're RPGs, right? I'm just, yeah, they're all RPGs except one. They're RPGs. I like RPGs. I like storytelling. Remember, I'll be so right here. All right, nobody's also from creating my own visual novel. I like stories a lot. Okay, and I like music. I like a lot of things. Right, but they're all RPGs, and RPGs generally tend to have the things that I enjoy in a story, and in you know literature, and media. All those things tend to generally be an RPG of all the genres. An RPG. Damn cry when I pull your lungs out through your chest. <laughs> oh. Oh it. You can even crit that. Looks like we're catching more fire right now. I got a grenade at him. Jeez, man, that's just. It just seems like it's not that strong because it flies so high up, and you, you know. But it's so strong. I've always avoided that one. I've always avoided grenades, period. I just not avoided, but I just never touched them. I would even use I would even use rockets over grenades. Probably. I don't know. Nothing against rockets, I just barely even touch those. I don't know. That's how I do pretty I don't know. I don't, I don't think I ever did vanilla builds. I guess I just didn't push Borderlands as hard as I could have, actually. I pushed it as far as I could have. That's why I always take this route. You saw I just did two entire level ups. This route at the point when this route is available to you in the game, just going through here and killing these bully mongs gives you so much XP. And that's very important, so that way you can go ahead and knock out some something like... I like how I'm doing right now, just knock out something real quick for the build that'll pay off long term. And then just get focused on the main thing now. The stuff that'll, uh, that'll actually require uh, uh, some, some time and commitment before you actually can start to see the fruits of your labor. Once it's at one o'clock, LB's concluding the stream. Because I gotta, I gotta cut some of the grass outside. Who knows when it's gonna rain again? It's it's been raining a lot over and over and over again, and the grass is starting to get a little too high. So I gotta take advantage of this moment. Don't fall in the water. <laughs> hey y'all, uh, watch this. You racks. You saw that? You see what I mean? I bet you I could even just melee it, with, specifically with a shotgun. Remember, in Borderlands, there's there's projectile speed. You know that. Like that, see? The different weapon types and the different weapon manufacturers have different projectile speeds tied to them. Why are they dying when they run into me? Do I have some kind of shield on that's doing something? Not intended for indoor use. Why were they dying running into me? Have they always done that? Taking like some damage? Hmm. Come on, Rax. Was that worth it? Like a like a bee that stings you. Was it worth it? But for all the bee knows, the bee thinks you're literally about to literally destroy its home, its family, its colony, its, you know, everything. 
So it's more than willing to sacrifice its life if it thinks that it's going to do something to you in reality. Just like, it stings for like a few seconds. That's actually pretty sick. Wow. Well, with that, LB is going to conclude stream so I can go ahead and cut the grass outside. All right. You all have a fantastic rest of your day. And remember, take God with you regardless of what you do, regardless of what it is, period. Okay. If you watch my VODs, I appreciate it.